The world is in peril. It's chaos everywhere. We're not covering any of it because we're too stupid. You're black, right? Right. Allegedly. Robert Paul Champagne. Uh. All it takes for rappers to join pickleball is for Michael Jordan to make some Jordans for pickleball. Merry Christmas, you guys. You sound like every gay in Manhattan. I feel gay. To try it out. Are washcloths for the pores? How much is it gonna hurt again? <laughs> What's going on? Ever heard of the Pulitzer Prize? We sure haven't. Go to YMHstudios.com to get your tickets right now. It's what about the hose, though? That's really That's what really What I about wanted. the hose? Yeah, yeah really. Okay. There's, there's some okay. traction towards one tramp. Hold on. Are you, tramp are you, traction. Are you a, the secret to enjoying family time is to have a safe space away from them. I just would excuse myself and just go lay down somewhere yeah. whenever I wanted. Everything I did <laughs> yeah. in high school was to try and attract women, but it only attracted men. I had a Honda Civic with two 12-inch subwoofers in the back. Chicks are gonna hear me bump and walk a flock at 7 a.m. and be like, yeah, I need dog. to suck his dick now. <laughs> yeah, it never happened. <laughs> Well, welcome, welcome to your mom's house. Mommies, I've added a show in Vancouver, British Columbia, and I've added a show in New York City and Seattle. Get your tickets now at ChristinaPOnline.com. I love Sattva mattresses. You've heard me talk about Sattva Mattress Company for what, 15 years now? Because I believe in this company. I sleep on a Sattva mattress. I sleep on the Solaire. It goes up, it goes down, it vibrates, it lights up. It's so good. We also have the Lumen Leaf in our guest, uh, our guest area so our guests can sleep on it. And my children sleep on Sattva mattresses. I love it because it's a quality, quality product made right here in the United States of America. And you're not paying the extra costs that you would if you went to a regular mattress place. You're not paying for the overhead of a, of a store, of salespeople to dick you around. It's just an honest product at a fantastic price. Do yourself a favor. Get a king-size mattress right now. Right now. Go to sattva.com slash the shit for $200 off. That's right. $200 off your next Sattva purchase. S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit. And we're back. Yep. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Your Mom's House. I'm Tim. She's Christine. It's great to be back here. Yeah. We had a nice little holiday break. I'm so fat. I feel yeah. like I'm the fattest piece of shit that ever lived, and I've really been flogging myself. It's the way to, it's the way to talk to yourself. Yeah. That's I what they say. Just eat and drink and shit. That's what God I did, too. It, I ate a lot. I ate a lot. I'm and just, I'm going to eat a lot because Christmas is now next. I know. I'm scared to get on the scale. I don't want to see it. Clothes fits. <laughs> that's, a good, that's all you, like all my clothes, I'm like, all right, clothes Barely. Fits. Mine, I, mine don't. That's lucky. Okay. Yeah. Fuck, dude. And like, I've, I, I've been getting constipated, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's you like, have been. I know. It's hormonal. It's perimenopause. That's how they say it. And anyway, I took a laxative and it you says- You took it around- well, here, here's, the, here's the game I want to play with, yeah. you, with you guys. I took the laxative at 4 p.m. because your sister talked me into it. Was it only 4? 4 p.m. And on the box of Dulcolax, it says you go in between 6 to 12 hours from the time you take the pill. Yeah. So I did the math in my head, and I was like, could be 10 p.m., could be 3 in the morning. Yeah. What do you think it Well, what do you guys think it was, judging by what you know about my bowels? You think it happened for me at 10 p.m.? I'm going to go 10 p.m. Go ahead, Annie. Uh, I'm gonna go 9:30. Wow, you guys are very optimistic. And there was to make this clear, she was like, "I'm having trouble for days. I need something." My sister brought bumped us out and was like, "Here it is." You read the box and you go, "Oh, I I can't do this." Yeah, it's a like, stupid idea. This will this is gonna hit me. Yeah, at the wrong time. And everybody was like, no. Pre pressuring me. Yeah. Charo and your, both your sisters like, just do it. Of course, Jane's like, just do it. I was kind just of unsure, to be honest. I was like, I don't know. Maybe. Hey, why didn't you speak up? Because I mean? wasn't sure either. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. And you were like, should I? I don't know. Should I? I don't think I should. But should I? And everybody was like, yeah. Yeah. And then you did it. You took it. Unsupportive cunts. I took it and then I started shitting at 
one in the morning. One in the morning. And then I shit then every half until, hour until 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. I spent the entire night on the toilet. Yeah. That's how much caca. Thank you so much, you guys. So much and caca inside of me. You it said was it was just like mountains of shit. It's kind of crazy how much shit you can hold inside of the body. Yeah. And we, we know any is a professional caca holder on her. Yeah, that's right. And I looked it up. Top Do you know game. you can carry between five to 20 pounds of shit in your body? It's pretty wild. I believe it. I believe it. It's yeah, like a I bowling was on the shorter ball. end of that, but yeah, I believe it. Yeah, I could probably get there. Pretty cool. 20 little pounds little shit of December. shit, dude. How much you think it came out of you? That's a baby. Uh, I, it was a bowling ball in my stomach when I was talking to your sisters and stuff. I think like a good 10 pounds of shit came out of me. Wow. And that's, and that, and look, I had only not shit for like three or four days. Like it was like pellets, you know? Mm -hmm. So that was pretty crazy. Wait, are you saying you didn't weigh it though? No, I wish. I wish there was a special toilet you could buy that weighs all the brown before no. you flush it down no, no right. weigh yourself you oh you no i don't weigh myself as what? a rule because i'm so phobic of it like i'll start flogging myself yeah i generally i don't weigh myself great one christina yeah well um i'm really glad that that it went well for you it's just for the holidays because christmas is coming and you eventually got some rest and everything i did you know, i slept cool. a little bit the next day yeah um okay <laughs> We have a lot to talk about. Here we go. Let's open the show. You ready? I'm so ready. Let's go. Hi, excuse me, sir. Excuse Don't me. Don't bother me, you. F I'm sorry. Who <laughs> 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 is Randy? Don't bring Love that guy. Yeah, yeah. Don't bother Don't me. Bother that guy's cool. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house. Now, with now. Tom Segura. Tom Segura. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Mm, 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 mm. Bam. Don't bother me, you fuck. Don't fucking bother. That's a total. That's a real New Yorker that. right there. I like that so much. This, New York has a lot of these dudes, especially that stand on the street and they're like, hey, oh like, God. can I ask you, what do you pay for your rent? Or like, what do you do? Or what's your advice on like, they just, and it's channels of this stuff. And it's, some of it's entertaining. It's cool. I'm not I like, like all of it. Yeah. But, um, but it's funny. This guy was like, get the fuck out of my <laughs> way. Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah, it's great. It's good because that's old New York. That's yeah. what you associate. He's got something to do. He's on his way yeah. to something. He's got a buy, sell, buy, sell. He's one of those buy, sell, buy, sell guys. Yeah. He works yeah. on the, what is it, stock, stock yeah. exchange, Don't right? bother me, you f <laughs> 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 They bleeped it. Obviously, it. we wouldn't have, but they believed it. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that was pretty great. Pretty yeah, great, man. I like the one where the guy's like, what do you do for a living that you drive this nice car? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy's like, actually, I... Fuck that's a fun one they, they, they but they just kind of like he just goes up to you yeah hey, this car is rad what do you do and people are like what like the what fuck? fuck right off yeah. yeah yeah sometimes they're like uh <laughs> and you could tell they don't want to tell yeah. you can tell when somebody really young and they don't want to say it's my dad's right, a lot of times correct. there's like yeah. 18 19 year olds in like a fucking mclaren or whatever yeah and then there's um then there's the shady people who are like uh i just acquire and yeah. sell and you're like huh? you're a drug dealer and there's people who have like a story, which is pretty good, you know? Yeah. But yeah, those things are, they're wildly entertaining. That, and I like the one where they walk up to old people who mm. are like in their 90s. Asking and their like, life lessons. How are you, or it was one woman was just in Washington Square in New York and Judah Titties. And she was just wearing Ugh. like a coat and just watching ah. people. And she could move. She wasn't hunched over. Yeah. And the guy was like, what do you do? What did you do with your life that you're, you know? And she's like, well, I have interests that i stay interested in and i do hobbies and i have friends yeah. and you're like that seems to be the universal yeah you gotta have all that stuff but mm -hmm. i i like i like the ones that are like what you what can you you know what are your big life lessons like those yeah. those are cool when it's somebody who's engaging and has an interest has had an interesting life and and just shares tells you you know i wish i had done this or you know they'll, they'll tell you the the truth about their life that's pretty cool yeah well people like to cite friendships as being mm -hmm. the most important 
A lot of people have said that on those TikToks. Yeah, take have to have chances, friends. Oh, you take chances. Have a little risk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go I, for it. Yeah. Yeah. I well, that you. one I hear. I wish I would have spent more time with my family, with yeah. my children. Yep. That one I hear a lot. Yeah. Take more risks. They do well. They yeah. say like if you're like if you're young. And you want to do this thing that, like, I've seen the guys go like, oh, I wish I had done that. You know, instead I did this. But their advice is like, yeah, yeah, yeah go. Life. Like, you want to live abroad? Go do it. Or you oh, want to sure. try this yeah. thing? Go for do sure. it. For sure, yeah. for sure, for sure. Pursue the thing you're thinking about. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we saw family. Um, family. A bunch of family. We actually had a good time. We had it a good was trip. amazingly positive. And I have a Charo update. Oh, for, for those of you listening, we know that Charo, uh, her diet consists mainly of a toddler diet of French fries and chicken nuggies. We took her to a fancy restaurant. She ate one and a half salads. Oh my God, seriously? Yep, tomatoes. Yeah. Um, French onion soup. It's crazy. It's crazy. How did you get that, Charo, you think? I have, she, well, I asked her, I, was, I asked her, I was like, what is going on with you? Yeah. Like, are you taking pot? Like, what is it? Are you taking pot? And yeah. she's like, no, it's because of you. I'm like, I don't think so. I'm like, I think you're just, I don't know. I don't know what the secret is. Maybe she's just like coming. She was just excited to see people. She was in a good mood she's the in whole very time. Very good mood. Yeah. Have, maybe having everybody around was, was good for her. Definitely. Yeah. And I've also learned the secret, you know, with Christmas coming up, the secret to enjoying family time is to have a safe space away from them. Stay right. in a hotel. I just had this conversation. Yeah. I just had a conversation. Somebody was asking me, how do you, you know, how do you do it? How do you like make it through these holiday visits with family? And I was like, oh, I don't stay with them. And mm. they were like, oh yeah, that's, that's a key thing is like, if you have to stay with them, it changes the whole dynamic. Then you're trapped. Right. So you just do like, oh, you know, we want to stay with you, but <laughs> I can't do that. had to do all this and that. So unfortunately mm. I'll be about 20 minutes away. Yeah. But I'll see you all as much as I can. See you later. Yeah. And also, because, um, you know, your sister's very into like doing a lot of things in a mm -hmm. day. And she's like, okay, one o'clock we're going to have lunch. Five o'clock we're going to have dinner at the hall. And I was like, no, no, no. We're going to do one thing. I do one thing a day with the kids. We don't do five things, yeah. two things, just one thing a day. Yeah. Um, And then also, I really took a page from my father from his book where he would just get up and, and drink. nap. Oh, no. Oh, that too. I would be drunk the whole time. I just would excuse myself and just go lay down somewhere yeah. whenever I wanted. I did that a lot. Yeah, you've been doing that quite a bit. Yeah. That was good. I feel like it, but I feel like guys do it in the form of watching football. Yeah. You guys avoid interaction by pretending to be into this four-hour football game. And I just go lay down. Thanksgiving week is great for football. Yeah. There's so much football on. and It's yeah. all good. Yeah. What it's did great. you love? What game? No, I mean, Thanksgiving Day, you always have the big, there's always a couple NFL games that are fun. And so, I mean, they weren't great games, were they? No, not not all of them. But but then, it's, I like college football, so it's, it's rivalry week every Thanksgiving week. So you get to see all the big rivalry games, and that was really fun. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I also took you guys to the Orlando Magic game. That was super fun. That was rad. So I'm playing the Amway Center in March. And th so we reached out and we got to, we go to the game, they hook us up with this beautiful suite to stay in. And then I don't know exactly what they're like, oh yeah, and then we'll get you like involved for like promotional stuff <laughs> for like, uh, you know, just promote your date. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So they go like, uh, sometime during the first quarter, we're gonna put you up on the Jumbotron and like you can just wave and we'll just, say that you're here and i was like oh okay so the guy comes and you know puts the light on and then they put it on the thing and i'm like hi right mm -hmm. and you guys are waving hi and then they're like yeah and then we're gonna do another thing where we put your information on there i'm like oh that's cool and then they're like and then in the fourth quarter uh during the second time out um you'll go to half court and take half court shots and i was like what <laughs> and uh and then you know, then you can shoot the t-shirt gun into the crowd too. And I was like, that actually sounds fucking rad. So it was sold out. I mean, it was fucking 18,000 so people fun. there. Fourth And we're, and the game is like an unbelievable game. And like, so many compression The leads are changing so in. many. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You had a nice post about that. Yeah. And then we, uh, I mean, the game was like really getting good. 
and the NBA does a really good job of keeping the live audience entertained. Oh, yeah. There's never a dull moment, you know? So they had this incredible uh, hype squad, you know, that comes out and just like does incredible physical things like dance the stuff flips you know just like crazy keep people engaged and entertained there's never like a down moment stuff the uh oh, the mascot so cute yeah like such such a like a legit athlete yeah. putting on the show ho 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 gentlemen get ready to jingle and deck your balls this holiday with the help from our friends over at manscape the leaders in below the waist grooming have just launched their performance package 5.0 ultra featuring santa's number one helper Lawnmower 5.0. Manscaped can guarantee you'll be stuffing more than just your stocking this season. Let your ornaments shine and enjoy 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com with the code MOM. I love all their products, honestly. I trim my beard, I trim my balls, I pluck eyebrows, nose hair, all the unwanted hair all over my body is Manscaped shorn. The Performance Package 5.0 Ultra is the one-stop shop for holiday gifting perfection. Included is the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, which brings two next-gen blade heads, perfect for sculpting your holiday do. Also included is the Weed Whacker 2.0, the Boxers 2.0, and their new Shears 3.0 Nail Grooming Kit. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code MOM. Give the gift of Manscaped this holiday season. The holidays are the busiest time of year, so don't get stuck worrying about shipping orders. Let ShipStation do the heavy lifting so you and your team can put your time, money, and energy into more important things. Plus, when it comes to those inevitable holiday returns, ShipStation automates, recommends exchanges, and gathers customer feedback. So even if they bought the wrong size or color, they'll still have a great experience. Seriously, as a business owner, you have to automate everything that you can. And ShipStation makes everything so easy. You've got to try it out. It's super easy to automate shipping tasks and manage orders and returns in one simple dashboard. You can quickly and easily update crucial order information and reduce errors. ShipStation has effortless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. Simplify and automate. You're shipping no matter how big your business grows with industry-leading discounted rates from companies like USPS and UPS. Let your customers shop risk-free this holiday with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash YMHA and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com slash YMH. So they grab me and they're like, stand right here. We'll all go out there when this timeout is called. And I'm like, you got to be shitting me. And so they all line up and then they grab our youngest <laughs> and the mascot puts him on a, an electric ATV, oh, like a little four wheeler. Dude, he was ear to ear. And he was like, he was and, like he, and he's yeah, just like dude. driving in circles on the court. <laughs> the fucking mascot. And he was like, like what? He what was so like? fucking happy. And, but they were shooting out the free t-shirts. Well, first I did my half court shot. To the crowd. First I did my shot. And I gotta tell you, the guy prepped me. He's like, he's like, it's further than you think. He's like, put your legs into it. He's like, everybody it's comes so far. He's like, everybody comes up short. And I was like, all right. And there's nowhere to like practice it, you know. So you're like, okay. So I get out there, and they're like, here we go. And they're like, you know him, Tom Segura. <laughs> like, you're like, all right. And the guy gives me the ball, first one, fucking eight feet short, right? And I was like, god damn it. Second one two feet short third one backboard and they're like you want to keep going i was like no this is fucking horrible to watch <laughs> just give me the fucking t-shirt gun so that was so fun that they was just fun to watch prep it up and then they just let you you know look at different people and they're all going crazy and you just fire the t-shirt gun but it was it was like such great energy and then the, like i said the game was crazy it was just insane it was like trading leads back and forth and the magic ended up winning the game but it was super fun but then we had to drive back, and then I had to do the uh, the five k uh, the next morning, which so you know for runners it's nothing. People who actually run a five k is literally nothing. They don't blink at it. You know, like that's a standard. Like that's not even a challenging amount. It's three point one miles. Like that. But for people who don't run, which is like I think more people who are doing it 
you know what I mean? That are, are like not really runners. It's a motherfucker. Three miles is like, if you don't do that on any type of regular basis. So I, initially I got a 10 week, uh, like course prep, like training for like a, a novice to train for one of these things. And I was doing it. And then I was seven weeks out and I broke my big toe and my left foot. And the, they go, there's nothing you can do. Like all you do is you, you stay off of it, you tape it up and it heals on its own. They go to here, it'll heal in four to six weeks. And, and your gauge for when it's healed is pain. They're like, if it hurts, it's still broken. If it doesn't hurt, it's fine. You're like, great. So I do what they say and I'm trying every week and I'm like, I could just, so I finally am able to run the Friday before Thanksgiving. So I haven't trained. I go out and I do uh, a mile, I think Friday. Saturday, two miles. Sunday off, Monday, a mile and a half. Tuesday, one mile, Wednesday off. That was like my own game plan. Like run, but don't overdo it. You know, take a certain days off. So, I, but I've never done the three, like, at least not in like years. Dude, I'm out there and I'm like, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm like trying to figure out how to do it. You know, I get through that first mile, I get to the second mile and then I just, I want to stop. I just want to walk. Like that's how you are when you run. So I'm like, but just don't stop. And then I'll see like some fat old lady mm. like in front of me. And I was like, you, you can't let this bitch beat you, you know? Mm -mm. So I would, I would just keep pushing, you keep know? Keep pushing. And then you see like a kid, or some fucking kid who runs like duck footed and you're like, fuck you kid. And you run by him. Fuck them. And then you just, you know, you start to just like eyeball people and you, and you use that as motivation. I wanted to stop so bad. But I didn't stop. That was to me. That was to me the big achievement. Like just not stopping. I mean, my time was fucking terrible. It was terrible. But I still beat Big Head Steve, who had oh, that's good. challenged me. I beat him by five minutes, which is that's significant. Kind of wow, a, yeah. that's huge. He talked a lot of shit. Yeah, it's he amazing. Didn't, he didn't he did break that. his fucking toe. No, but yeah, he's a cancer survivor. But the thing is, <laughs> I beat his ass, right? I took his money. <laughs> he took his money. But I couldn't believe, like, here's the thing. Now, this is, this is how this shit fucks you up. Now you know you can do it. So now you're like, oh, I got to go out and run three miles. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, like, you, you, sh you, you proved should. to yourself that you could. Yeah, yeah. So it just kind of, like, opens your. You're really, now you're, you know, I mean, we, we have a family member who's just a runner. Yeah. And I was talking to him about it. And, like, I, it really is a personality type. Where they're like, I just, I get into the zone. It calms me down. <clears throat> I feel like it might be something for you to yeah. really help you meditate. It's meditative. It is meditative. You know, because I walk a lot. That's yeah. that's what I love. But, you know, I got big tits. I don't like to run. Yeah. My ankle. You, know, you could tape it. those tips down or get them removed. Yeah, but my ankle too, running on a broken ankle is still uh -huh. no good. But you, I feel like you could really get into that. Yeah. You should. No, I enjoy. I enjoyed the challenge. Day. I, I enjoyed the challenge. And then cold plunge. <laughs> I have a picture of you on the day of the race. Would you like to see it? <laughs> Go ahead, Joshua. This imagine. is my husband after winning the turkey trots. Go ahead. Let's okay. see. This is what you look like after you won the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was you for the, the remainder of the day. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, here's the, the reason I was this out, though, was less about the 5K and more about no more about the sleep yeah you, we didn't like, sleep we did we got to we got back from the game and by the time i fell asleep you know it was probably 12 31 oh yeah and i got up at 5 45 oh my god so like i had no i had no fucking Why sleep do they man. do that is there no way that they can run marathons at 8 a.m can no. we start it's winter it's not hot out no. just fucking start at a normal hour here's the, the wildest the godliest thing. hour the to craziest start thing about this Jesus. I mean, it's always the the elite that we're mesmerized by. Yeah. So I, there's a path, and they close off the street, and there's police, and you know. So we're we're on. There's thousands of people doing this, by the way. So, I, this is when I'm 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 during the first mile. So this is my best pace of running. I'm running at like nine thirty five pace. That's really good. <laughs> well, no, it's better than as, I've ever done. I mean, that's as pretty fucking impressive. I'm going down this street with, you know, tons of people. I see one, two, three, four, five, like split up guys running towards us. Hmm. And they're all shirtless 
and they're it's super lean. Like they're, you could tell, oh, these are like real runners, cross country types, like pro, they, they, they have the physique. They're the men that are like 150 pounds, you know? Yeah. And they're just booking towards us. And I go, oh, at the end of the street must be like where we're running towards. And then they're running. They're already, they already made it to the end of the street and now they're running back, right? Mm -hmm. Cause you can't quite see where they're, so they're passing us and they're going back. <laughs> and then when we get to that end of the, the street where I think they must have, that's where you turn mm -hmm. and go then down this street. Then you turn down another street, then you come back and then you make the turn that they made. So they were Jeez. on, they were on like part, like two and a, two and a quarter miles in when we were on yeah. the half to three quarters oh of a mile. Oh my gosh. Like, you guys so these, these were the top 10 people that all finished in like 15 to 17 minutes, which means they're running like five minute miles. And so they were, and we were like, when I real, like when we turned, I was like, no, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, no shit. We're about to hit mile one and these guys mm -hmm. are like about to finish. <laughs> Fuck. Oh yeah, dog. Yeah. Dude, I went walking with a friend just around Lake Austin here last week. Yeah. And like, you know, when you're just doing like a leisurely walk and yeah. you see like the same motherfuckers run past you, yeah, like, a couple you're like, times, that's the third like, fucking time. You're like, this motherfucker's running from demons, bro. Yeah. There's some dark shit inside of you that you are avoiding if you're that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, of course. You're just running from the devil in here. Yes. That's gnarly. Um, but yes. that might be good for you to get the rage out. Yeah. And the demons to get the fucking shit out of your mind. That's why they run. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> what you running from? What are you running from? Yeah, you yeah. fucking. But you know what I really loved um, when we were at that Orlando game was watching people go absolutely batshit crazy. Yeah. Over getting a free T-shirt, yeah, you're like it. The, there's free stuff. Free is like is yeah. like if people go bananas for, and they're not great. You know, I don't know what those T-shirts were like, but usually free T-shirts are like cardboard, sandpaper. They're it's not the win. Good. That's what it is. It's it's, it's, gotta it's the be. win. It's it's the feeling that oh, did I get choked? Did you pick? That's different. Yeah, That's yeah, That's the yeah, feeling. Yeah. It's the feeling. It's it's not even about. This is great. It's the I got gun. one. Getting the gun. It's I got one. You. Yeah, yeah. that would be fucking dope. Yeah, that's the thrill. The thrill is I got one. Because there's um, we had a, a Gary Cannon, a, a comic friend of ours from um, Los Angeles. He used to work in Burbank, and he would do warm up, crowd warm up mm -hmm. for sitcoms. <laughs> and he said he's like, they didn't care for my jokes. The audience never gave a fuck about my jokes. But the minute I was like, who wants the free stuff? People go bonkers. Yeah, there's the element of being chosen. But then when you get swag, you know, like people give you bags and stuff and you're like, I don't want, I really don't need any you of think, this. You think you want it. Yeah, and then you, you get it a do. few times. And the first, like, <laughs> once you've had it a few times, you get the free thing and then you turn, you go, do you want this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what happens. Well, because I like tumblers, like those are great yeah. to get, but then like I'll, I'll always lose the lid and now yeah. I got one half or of the Or you open a tumbler. cabinet and you see 15 in there and you're like, <laughs> Okay, what, what am I doing? And I also don't want to like advertise wh whoever that is. Of course, and that's the only reason they gave it to you. Yeah, yeah, like I don't need to have this in my life. It's, yeah. But it's so, and I can see the allure of being chosen. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, did, you, did I ever talk about this on the show? Forgive me if I'm repeating myself. That there's this lovely story about a homeless man who gets on a subway in New York City. Mm -hmm. And he just starts doing, he's like a crazy guy. And he just starts choosing people on the subway. He's like, you, not you, not you, not you, you. And the person that was on the subway was like a story that was in a book maybe. And they're like, the desire to be chosen was so strong inside of me. Like to have this homeless guy yeah. choose me but, was like everything. Yeah. And I'm like, gosh, that's so human. That's so true. You just want to be chosen. That's a human thing. Yeah. So is like the... um you know, I, I remember I saw this line in a movie one time and it resonated so much with me. I think it was the uh, the girl with the dragon tattoo. I love that movie. And there's a line in it about your, I'm going to say it wrong, but it's like your, your desire to appear polite mm. will sometimes yes. supersede yes. your, you know, your... You're the danger. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Right? So like, yes. in other words... And I've, this really resonates with me because I'm always like, I'll be uncomfortable in a situation, not necessarily danger, yeah. but some, I guess, and sometimes it could be, 
but I would rather appear polite. polite, right? And that's the thing in that movie is there's a scene where that happens. And it's like, you sometimes have to remind yourself like, oh, no, no, put your desire or your, yes. your safety first. And, and much, uh, this is full circle now, yeah. much like to my laxative discussion earlier, mm. I should have stuck to my, my intuition was like, don't do this dummy. It's 4 PM. You're going to start shitting in the middle of the night. But the pressure of your sisters and your sister's a nurse. So I believed her. She's yeah. like, let's fucking do it. Let's yeah. And I yeah. was like, all right, I'll do it. And then I felt happy because I, they applauded my decision. See? And, and yet, I'm a fucking idiot. I should have been like, no, exactly. I'll put the, thank you. I'll put the, I'll take these at midnight and then I'll exactly. wake up at 6 a.m. and shit. That's exactly right. <sighs> I'm such a fucking retard. But you wanted to appear. I wanted to appear like one of the guys. Yeah. One of the gals. I'm, I'm accepted. It's a lesson Ugh. you learn over life. Now. Oh, chips in a bowl. Cats eating kibble. Yep. been a while we are super excited next friday december 15th oh. 69 minutes our first original comedy special comes Woo! out tickets are on sale now at ymastudios.com who appears in this special uh stavros yes whitney cummings danny brown rob eiler lauren compton rachel wolfson jamie lynn sigler joe list dr drew duncan trussell uh, Matteo Lane, Johnny Mitchell, Kevin Ryan, H. Foley, Rory Scovel, Kim Congdon, Brian Simpson, Ryan Sickler, and Jessica Curson. And it goes on and on. Yeah. So for those people asking, because every time we do a special ticketed event, usually it's YMH Live or it's Two Bears Live. I just wanted to be very transparent about why this is the way it is. People will ask, like, why are why who's going to buy tickets? Why would you sell a ticket to this? So every time you do something like this, it is an experiment. The first time we did YMH Live, it's an experiment. This is the first time we're ever doing a fully produced comedy special. It's not a stand-up comedy special, but it's a comedy special. And what we essentially did was we made an episode of television. You know, it's, it's a 69-minute episode of, of television, of content, like that is, a, a, you know, comedy-driven. It has tons of segments in it. And... It takes an enormous amount of resources to make that happen. We're a small production company. This is like writing, producing, casting, locations, travel, sound stages, hair, makeup, audio, lighting, tons of time in post-production. And so that comes at a cost. And the idea is, just so you know, that like when you buy it, if you buy a ticket to watch this, which I hope you do, I'm super proud of it. I think it's really great. Enough tickets bought on this thing what it really does is it reinforces to us that this is a this is the path. This is something you want to see. Like we are, we're in a re unique relationship with you guys, where we have a direct to consumer relationship. We don't have to pitch every idea to a studio or a network. We get to make them, and then if you like it, what it tells us is keep doing this kind of thing. We obviously got the message loud and clear with the YMH Lives. That's why we've done it multiple times. Um, and there'll definitely be another one in the future. Same with Two Bears Live. But this is the first time we're trying something like this. So we're excited about it. Uh, we're really proud of it. I think it's really funny. I think it's great. I hope you like it. And that's why it's a, there's a ticket. It's a, it's a $10 ticket. I think it's a really accessible ticket price. And I think you'll enjoy it. It's really, really funny. Also, Charo makes an appearance in it. Mm -hmm. Probably the hardest I've ever laughed um, <laughs> in, uh, like in all the time she's done something. But um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's so unique in that we don't, like you said, we don't have to clear anything with the FCC. No. We don't have to even uh, talk to, you know, the big bosses. We are the bosses. So we make the stuff that we know is funny yeah. and you guys are going to like, which is huge, which is why we do it. Yeah, it's pretty because, great. Because like everything sucks. It's on TV. It's pretty great. I, I really, really I can't am watch sitcoms. super proud of you. it. No, it's, I Painful. think you're going to laugh a lot. Um, There's some. Did you know that, Annie? That's pretty I cool. I like that tune. Black yeah. 
people. And they marched in with it. And swim. That was pretty cool. I wish Andre 3000 would take that and what? make a rap over it. Instead that the right flute there? Album. Yeah. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're not into the flute album? No, I like it. I like the titles. Yeah. He called it crazy. Everything is titled crazy. Like, the word pussy is so much better than the word vagina. And you're like, dude, wow. That's the name of the track? Yeah. Like, will you mind looking up the track listing for Andre 3000's new flute album? Speaking of black people who can swim. Where is this again? The black people can swim? Is this Philly? <laughs> Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. That's cool. You got okay, a lot of people fine. to convert there. But <laughs> this is uh, the new album. What's the new album called? Oh. All right. It's his new find the track. flute album. Any, can you swim? Uh, I mean, I could. I ain't trying to, though. Yeah, I'm trying, 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 trying to. Nah. Are you you're just opposed to swimming in a pool even? Yeah, what the fuck I'm trying to do, man. It's really feel it feels nice. I I really mm. like. But swimming. you can swim. I mean, yeah. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's been a minute though. I haven't so probably. Um, probably if you back be, up great. and and just go to the wiki, it probably has. Is this the list? No, this yeah. isn't. Hold on, give me one it's um, on iTunes too. Oh, do you cool. believe that stereotype that black people can't swim? Yeah. I think it's more that black people don't want to swim. The Why don't they want to swim? What are we swimming for? Well, but, why is anyone swimming? Exactly. Because because y'all just need some shit to do. Like, we, we, what are we, why are we trying to swim, man? But I mean, it's... We're trying to fuck around. It's right? a good skill to have, right? Good skill to have. Swimming? It's good, great exercise. I, I ain't trying to go to the ocean. Nah, yeah, I'm scared of the ocean. The ocean's crazy. I ain't trying to go swimming for what? Well, hmm. I, for what? Well, I do agree. But you don't think it's a skill that can benefit, like... Not if take exercise and and the enjoyment of it out. Like mm. if somebody finds themselves in a body of water, mm. it's beneficial to know how to swim. Yeah, but why are you finding yourself in a body of water? Well, I mean, life True. can can lead you to places you don't expect to be all the time, right? What, like, what about boating? You ever go in Lake Austin in the summertime? Boat. Oh. Fuck a boat. Yeah. But I'm saying like somebody who goes, I know how to make a fire, and you go, well, What do you need? But you find yourself for whatever reason, circumstances lead you to somewhere where. You know, you're in the wilderness. You mm. you know, you could have been on a trip and something went wrong, and now, but you have the skill. You know how to make the fire. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you're staying warm. You can cook food. You could find yourself in a situation in life mm. that you are near or in a body of water. Having the skill of swimming is beneficial in that situation. I mean, you don't disagree with that. I mean, I hear what you're saying, but I feel like I can imagine a lot of scenarios where I could end up needing to build a fire. Mm -hmm. mm. So that's that's that is a good skill because it's like that could just hit you. Maybe you're that's just what out, I need to start doing. Maybe you're just out there. Maybe I don't know. You're on the side of the street or some shit. You're stranded. You got to figure some shit out. Okay, I could see a situation like that. How the fuck life gonna just drop me in a body of water? I'm Never have to choose. That. I mean, most of the earth that. is water. Yeah, but I'm a, yeah, but but I'm gonna have to choose to go there. I ain't just gonna land in water. This you know is such saying? a wild argument to you have. Like the, the, the only time, the only time I could imagine just landing in a body of water without choosing to be yeah. it would be like oh, a maybe plane a, crash, maybe a plane burning. Yeah, yeah. I, I already got backups for that. We good. What's the backup for that? No, nah, I mean there's no bad. I just die. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got a scheduled email that goes. Wait, out but, do, do you mean to tell me that you don't even enjoy water adjacent activities? I like sh I like showers. Okay. I've invited any on a boat. I've sure. invited him to my pool several times. Yeah. yeah. Not Surprise. Once. Not once. Uh, surprise. Well, first he says yes, but then he just doesn't. That's surprise, just a black surprise. thing, but still. Do you know what the <laughs> the origin of the stereotype of black people can't swim? Do you know what it comes from? I don't. What? Are you saying, do you, do you? I know what it comes from, yeah. Oh, shit, I don't. What? It's it's rooted in, in racism. I mean, that's yeah. usually anything so from black people. What, yeah. what, um, what it originates from is that of course, no one is DNA like mm. like predisposed to not being swimming. able to swim or nothing. It's a taught thing, like anything else. So when segregation uh, became prominent in this country, you had pools that would say like, "Stay out of here." So black people had less access to swimming, and so what happened was then they would tell their children we can't swim so you stay away from water well then that kid would grow up have his own kids and just be like we can't swim and so mm. on and so forth but it originates from the segregation in the pools and not having access to those pools wow that makes more sense why they took us on the boats now yeah get it yeah how the fuck we gonna get away Shit. yeah mm. they got you get it now you damn. get it God damn it, maybe I should swim. I swear I really wanted to make a rap album, but this is literally the way the wind blew me this time. That is track number one on Andre 3000's. That, 
Yeah. And and by the way, like the most sensical, sen- sensible, yeah. sensical one. And then it and it's gets a crazy. 12 minute long track. I know, bro. Okay, read number two. The it's slang better. word pussy rolls off the tongue with a far better ease than the proper word vagina. Do you agree? That's track number two. And it's 13 minutes and 50 seconds long. Track number three is that night in Hawaii when I turned into a panther and started making these low register purring tones I couldn't control. Shit was wild. That's track three. <laughs> it's 10 minutes and 29 seconds long. Mm-hmm. By Polo Disorder's daughter wears a 3,000 button down embroidered. That's track number four. It's 13 minutes long. 93 till infinity and Beyonce. Track number five. It's only three minutes and 49 seconds. Gandhi, Dalai Lama, your Lord and Savior, JC, Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer, and John Wayne Gacy. That's track number six. It's 10 minutes long. Ants to you, gods to who. Track seven. And dreams once buried beneath the dungeon floor, the, beneath the dungeon floor slowly sprout into undying gardens. That is, see, what this is, is the equivalent of just being like a billionaire. Yeah. And buying, stu- like I saw this Twitter. thing that they said. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like, what are you I doing? saw this thing that, that Jeff Bezos spent $42 million on a clock that will outlive humanity. It's being built somewhere Jeez. in tech. And you go like, what the fuck? Well, it's like, well, you have $200 billion. Like he just does that. Andre 3000 has so much clout as a musician that he can just be like, titles. I'm just going to stream gonna of, write, Yeah, just write down. With well, her, and it, no one's going to. But the, the, the misfortune of the titling, which I'm fully I love It's fucking this. hilarious. I'm into this. Yeah. Is that on iTunes? When I bring it up on my phone, yeah. it won't show the whole title. Oh, it doesn't. So it's wasted. Yeah, cleverness because it only be like. But you know the word pussy, and, and then I'm like, yeah. well, what about the what about you know? Which is so great. But it got you to look it up. Though, I right? love it. Yeah. No, he's but amazing. But he he's I'm just whole. Saying, I'm just saying that 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 you're saying that it didn't show smart, you on Spotify. But then I had to go to look. look it up, right? But yeah, for my podcast, you got to Google it. You got me Google, but you but he's so SEO. he's so brilliant. And he goes, he goes, I, I don't have anything to rap about. I'm 40, 48 yeah. years old. He's like, well, rap about my colonoscopy, and I'm like, it sounds like you got a lot of shit in your head still, bro. Oh yeah, well he's a, he's those brilliant. titles are no, yeah. he's listen, hey y'all comes on anywhere, and I'm just I get very well, excited. yeah, of course. Do you ever see that breakdown of that? Yes, of how complicated what, hey, yeah. musically this and is how just he doesn't brilliant. know how to read or write music. It's crazy town. Like he came up with all that music just from like how about like this wild but not not you know c flat d major stuff it's amazing yeah it's pretty Guys incredible <laughs> yeah yeah oh <laughs> fucking slobs <laughs> That's a good freeze frame right there. Fuck, slobs. Yeah. Let me tell you, I was at a hotel pool mm-hmm. with our kid the other day. Yeah. And I total dos bujani brushi bruski family yeah. down there at the pool. Yeah. The father was in the jacuzzi with his two kids, blowing his nose into his hand and putting it into the jacuzzi. That's pretty wild at a shared pool. Bro, yeah. what are you doing, homie? Like yeah. that's that's this tribe. That's the tribe. I she doesn't give to. a fuck These about shit. Assholes. This is my tribe. I'm yeah. so sorry. I apologize. Yeah. Yeah, Can you believe? Care. Yeah. Here's another Such rough, rusky thing here. This stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah, There's yeah, yeah. no way you're <laughs> supposed to do it like that. Oh my God. Ah. Uh uh. Uh-uh. No. No way, He does bro. not have a license to practice <laughs> in the United States. That's fucking amazing. Um, yeah, I just lo- I love these chiropractic things so much. I Would love- you ever try this? Not with him. Fuck no, <laughs> no. I've gone to one before, but not not like this kind. No way. Yeah, can we pay anybody in the booth to do it? Does anyone want to try it? Too good for this dude. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it probably ain't that bad. I'll do it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, Solo, you know what to do. Reach out. <laughs> All right. You know what to do. All right, we're taking a quick break. We'll be okay. right back. Bye. And we're back. You know him from his podcast, Stiff Socks, and now you can watch his all-new special, Pterodactyl. It's out right now on Amazon Prime. It's Trevor Wallace, everybody. Yay. Yes, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Where did you shoot uh, Pterodactyl? In Austin, at the Paramount. <gasps> oh, you did? You did yeah. at the Paramount? Yeah, Paramount's great. Goodness. Oh, it's beautiful. That's I did awesome. it like two years ago, and I just felt right. I love mm-hmm. Austin. It's got enough like yee yee sense of Texas, but also like the tech bros. So yeah. like, you know, an Adderall joke will hit right down the middle. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And you have that famous uh, 
viral video about Austin. I remember, yeah. right? I saw yeah, it a yeah, while yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were like, move to Austin, bro. I forget how the it setup. It was just like it. your friend who wants to move to Austin. Just yeah, yeah. right in that boom <laughs> of that. How did, did you know, like, did you just start making, I'm assuming you made things like that just like as something to do, right? Like just make stuff. But then your stuff really took off. Oh, I went to film school, but whatever, dude. Okay. It's fine. Oh, no, did you? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm oh. San Jose State, it barely counts. Okay. But I've been making videos since like Vine and shit. And then yeah. so like, I just have been making videos for like maybe like a decade i think that's a while yeah and then it's just whenever i'm traveling i'm like what does this city have that i can film here because mm -hmm. anytime you switch it up in the set the scenery people are like whoa where's trevor at what's he doing mm -hmm. um and that shot opens right in front of the Capitol. so yeah you know but you storm that bitch. do you plan do you plan those out really like meticulously like uh, how the video will go you know like, like half and half yeah half i'll like it. write down some beats and then riff the rest because i feel like the the, the funny is in the riff sure and then also you never really know what you're gonna get until you're there. Mm -hmm. You know, you're like on Sixth Street, and it's just so insane. And then your brain starts like racing with ideas, and you're like, "Scooters, scooters, what rhymes with scooters? Shooters, scooters and shooters." And like, that's like the one thing, the quote from that video that like kind of got some like traction. It's just like, once you're in the element, it's just so much easier to create. I think. And when you're when you're uploading stuff like that, do you always do you have you gone through the thing where you're like, "This is a banger. It's gonna." Oh yeah! Create. Every and time I it, say it's a banger, it's gonna flop. And yeah. then ones where you're like, well, who, I'll just throw something up. Yeah. Then that goes like 20 million. Ain't that the truth? It's like the simplest thing I always do on my TikTok people love. And the things I put lots of thought into. Yeah. Just I, not to get deep or anything, but like, I feel like that's like life. Like anytime you try too yeah. hard, it flops. And then it's like when you genuinely care or it's like a good idea. Yeah. It's always that. But so uh, yeah, I uploaded something last week. I thought it was so funny. It was like how TLC pitches shows. <laughs> and it's like armed and ambidextrous. And <laughs> Oh, you know, overweight and loaded and just like all this like random things flopped. And then I uploaded uh, the dumbest thing about like how fast like out of office emails come in. Mm -hmm. 20 million views. Yeah. 20 million. Well, it did 10 million on Instagram. But because that's just like so many people being like, that's that essentially hits. that's me too. Like, oh, I get that. Like, yeah, it's just very shareable. Yes. Which right. I get. Yeah. But you gotta like level it out. You have half that's like, oh, this was a passion video. It was like the TLC one was like, oh, I think this is so funny. It's funny for me. And then you do one that's sure. just like this. This is very easy. Same though, like what, for stand up clips, yeah. like, you know, you chop them up. The one where you're like, it's about kids, uh, you know, having two kids. Yeah. I, I'm like, yeah, sure, put it up. 19 million views. Yeah. And then the one where you're like, well, this was like, this yeah. is really funny. Thoughtful It'll be. Funny. Well, the yeah. hard part is, you know, the payoff is like, all right, minute 47 in, that callback is fucking yeah. really ties it together. Yeah. But people watching at home, they're like, I don't know. Yeah, three, give me true. three seconds. Yeah. True. It's yeah. so. Yeah, that's a whole thing about with the specials. Like Amazon's so great. They're like, yeah, post whatever. And now I'm like, well, there's an hour to choose from. Do I do these 30 second clips? Do I do three minutes, one minute? Yeah, how do you pick? What do you do? I'm just now trying shit. Really? And yeah, it's the random stuff that hits. It's 30 second things. I mean, the attention span is crazy. You should press them for like data because they're I Amazon. I just did this morning. Yeah. I, was, I just sent out a group text to like what everybody. Goes, was like, what should be put? Where should we be put? Like they have every. Dude, fucking they bit have of data. everything. Yeah, they know everything. But that's a problem. They don't want to share it because then they like give away their secrets. They put like the innocent card. You should be like, like whose house know? should I show up mm. at? And they'll yeah, be like, hey. exactly. I have a gun. Where do I go? Yeah. They'll be like, yeah, go to this person's house. They won't mind. Yeah, I don't know if streamers ever really show you numbers because then you feel like you might have an advantage. Over they them. so they just started. It's the weirdest fucking thing what Netflix does. So it used to be like they go, yeah, we're happy. Yeah, and you go what? And they're like, yeah, everyone's happy over here. And that was like your you're report. talking to mom and dad, like things are good. We that love was, each that other. That was your report. And then like two, no, three years ago, almost four years ago, they're like, they're going to give you some data now. And you're like, no okay. shit. Well, here's the thing. They won't give it to your agent. They will only what? give it. They won't give it to your agent. Because agents are going to find a way to make money off of it. Of course. They only give it to managers. Oh, what? Stop. And they, I swear to God. Why? That's so what a weird. <laughs> why only managers? This is the this is the That's policy. Mafia shit. Business is so weird. So yeah. they call the manager and they give them the full report, knowing that the manager will tell hang up agent. and call the agent. Yeah. Okay. And they go, yeah, I know, but we can only share it with the manager. That's so they so call weird. and then they both call you, and they give you the data that that was shared with them. Wow. But you know, it's also. Like it's it's cool that it's that's some insight and so like you're like I don't know anything. You told me you're happy with me, right? Uh, but then now they give you a little. But they when, as soon as you start asking the next logical question right. about more data, they're like that, that's that's it enough. Is. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, you get one question. You get one yeah. phone a friend here. That's it. Do so you that's know it. your numbers on Sledgehammer? Yeah. Good. Great. Yeah. Awesome. The best of the of all of them. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 
it did it exceed the number in your head? Like we were like, oh, it's probably at X amount of views. Well, here's the thing that was like surprising to me. So the last, the one before it was called Ball Hog and it happened to come out in April, April of 2020, which was lockdown. Oh shit. And it was the beginning. Great marketing on your part. So they'd go, when that one came out, they gave us numbers yeah. and they were like, these are great, but keep in mind, people are forced to be in their homes and are looking for content. So like, That's a nice thing to tell like <laughs> why would they throw that in there? They're, you know, this was, well, they, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. they just, everyone was kind of like, these are probably inflated, inflated yeah. numbers just based on the fact that people are just looking for something to, to watch. And you're like, okay, but they're, wow. they're like, yeah, so it's great. Just in case you try to get more money off yeah, them on exactly. the next one. Like, this was inflated, yeah. yeah it is. So the new one, Sledgehammer exceeded those. And there's no no pandemic. No so you're being so forced. then they're like, oh, that's, that's wow. Great. Yeah. So that was that was. So that you didn't need cool. to start the whole pandemic. In I didn't have to do it again. No, wow. I didn't have to. Good. Uh, now Cherry. you're very famous on TikTok as well. Are there what are the perks? Are there TikTok tramps? Uh, is there that perks? slide into your DMs? Are, uh, are you married, guy? Are you single? I think tramps. You got to be like forty and up. Hey. Is there like twenty year old tramps? Yeah. Mm, they're out there behind a Bucky's. Hey. Hey. Um, what are the perks? I, you get to cut lines at shitty bars in LA. Sure. You know, you go to like Barney's Beanery <laughs> and they're, they're like, like, right this way. This, yeah. this is my guy. And then, uh, what are the perks? Honestly, what about the hoes, though? That's really that's what really What about the hoes? Yeah. yeah. There's some hoes in, in life. Yeah. You know, it feels like there could be one right now. Really? Okay. There's, there's some okay. traction towards one well, tramp. Hold on. Are you, are you, a, are you attracting the hose via the talk or the stand up? Do you know My what I personality. mean? personality. Yeah. Mm. No, God, no. They're seeing numbers and they're like, this guy. <laughs> this guy's got it. This guy's yeah. got it. Yeah. He's getting paid. Uh, yeah. I Honestly, like, it's a mixture of like DMs and then like the post show yeah. DM that's like, Zion Laugh Factory. And then they yeah. quote a joke. Nice. Like, I have a whole joke that's in the special that I used to do. And it was like the epitome. It was like the DMs would just leech off that. I was talking about like how a girl made fun of me for ordering carrot cake. And then girls would be like, I wouldn't mind if you ordered carrot cake. And I'm like, what a weird, what a weird thing to, mind. but it's so funny. Cause like you can find anything in somebody's set to like make horny. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so true. I'll be your ring doorbell. And you're yeah. like, what does that, what does <clears> that mean? Or I, even I'm down. <laughs> people will um, reference things I've said on this show. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't remember half the shit that right. I've said in my life, bro. And yeah. He's like, remember that time at the Fritos? Yeah, 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 and you're yeah, like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah. So, so what you're saying is, okay, but do they send you sexy videos on TikTok or are they like, like no. they don't send you tits and if, stuff. if I get tits in my DMs, I'm like, you're a robot. This is from Russia. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. But you I can don't... always see, um, you ever like, it could be on, on Twitter or on, I guess maybe Instagram too, but you get like liked by something and you hit, you hit and you're like, oh, this is a, this is a bot. Yeah. You're getting liked course. by bots, you know? Yeah. What it's do you a, mean, Tom? Like where? You hit their profile and you see zero Oh. Either zero followers or following zero. Yeah, or they're just a loser. Because yeah. you're like, sexy girl 5,000 likes me. And then no. you're like, what is she all about? And then well, is I'll, that what you're saying I'll, you're doing? I'll, I'll message her like, yeah. hey, did you like did you like <laughs> what I posted? Yeah, because I don't I don't actually click who liked me to see who they are. Oh, really? really? Saying, Never. Never? No. Uh, there's yeah, a lot I of have. chicks. There's a lot of chicks. Yeah, no, mine too. Like too you know many. who loves me? Yeah. I get overflow from Tom. Like, hear from Tom's page. Oh, pussy. Yeah. But here's I, what sucks, though. What? Is you're like, show me that, like you said, like some, send me a pic of your tits or something. Yeah. And then it's a, you could tell that it's a bot response. That's so upsetting. Yeah. yeah. You ever seen bot tits? Not good. No, but it's you like know like two what? jewel pods a, right a here. A lot of prostitutes like me. Really? I don't, lately, hookers like um, prostitutes on TikTok and what? on Instagram. Pro they're on TikTok? Oh, lots. Ooh. Hookers, strippers love me. Yeah. Show me. Sure. <laughs> you want to see? Yeah. No, I'm serious. I, uh, yeah. I, I report it sometimes if they're not That's real. That's so cool. Not a fan. You yeah. report? Well, you're if, a fucking narc, dude. If if it's a sex <laughs> sex post, like some people post on TikTok, like things fucking as a cartoon, and I'm like, dude, what if somebody's kid is scrolling and seeing like you're welcome, fucking. you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. It's inevitable. Like I can't Ugh. check Instagram before 11 a.m. It's just too horny. The second you ever you get tagged, it, you get uh, my tagged photos. Are tagged like, photos, and it'll be like porn. just porn. And that are like, like yeah, why that am I in India? Us. A yeah. lot of just Indian dudes just throwing up videos and they're like, they'll like ask me to collaborate and I don't, oh, yeah. I don't want to. It'd be yeah. so funny one day. It's like, oh, what's Trevor doing with this guy? And just n nothing. Just get this guy. You should start up. collaborating with all just of them. Just random yeah. dudes. Just blow up their pages. Indian pornographer? Now I'm getting Indian can you get, I don't think you can, if like if they're the originator, you wouldn't be, right? Like struck from, like you wouldn't get like a uh, flag from them. Oh. If you collaborate. 
I wonder if like, the like, algorithm is just to turn a blind eye to them because they're just straight up porn in my tag yeah. photos. It's just like show flyers and then tits. Yeah. Yeah. And my algorithm is just mostly accidents and debt, like workplace accidents. Uh, workplace accidents? Like just like somebody working in a, you know, a factory. Hit by and shit. Yeah. Like the machine malfunctions. The guy gets sucked into it. His body got like, oh, ripped in half. And a lot of airplane ones like that. I get a lot of car accidents, like a lot of motorcycle accidents. Really? A lot. And this is what you like come to or what is this? Yeah. It's just I open Instagram and it's just like, they're like, you want to see someone die? And I'm like, okay. I feel like I always had a friend like that growing up. He's <laughs> like, like, you want to see a beheading video? And you're like, yeah. what? No. Yeah, they always have the plug on those I websites. Don't, I don't want to see the beheading video Wait, the all. airplane ones, it's funny. Are you talking about the people that get sucked into the, the, engines? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. they're like loading up the plane and then they're like, that's pretty hot. Let me just get some yeah. AC over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've, I just found out about this because I uh, I was talking to an airline employee and mm -hmm. she's like, yeah, we have to watch videos on that type of safety. Oh, wow. it's, could you imagine? You're like, oh, my God, did you guys hear about Carl? He got sucked into the jet. I'll tell you what I have liked lately, though, are uh, people and, and, and things hit by trains. That is a fucking really? cool lane. Hmm. Yeah, because it'll be something either a it's car a way to go out. Or, or, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or somebody. Fast. A lot of times yeah. it's someone who's like, hey, you video me standing by the track yeah and the person who's getting videoed is like trying to be cool like they're like oh dear and then the train you see yeah, the train yeah, yeah. coming and they're and they're literally just too close and then you see the train that is carrying whatever a million pounds yeah just decimate this person's shoulder or it's, and trains for what i don't think they stop i think they're they like don't, afterwards they they're like all right uh well not even that but like after the body's hit they're like all right anybody going to newark like they're just back on it like <laughs> yeah. i don't think there's like a slowdown <laughs> no. that day oh yeah in india they don't give a fuck <laughs> they kill you you're just like i've seen uh videos tiktoks where uh people just get hit in the street in india and they're like all right just drive around him and you're like yeah, just every man dude. for themselves i saw a train hit a sheep and and <laughs> that sheep wanted to go out. I don't know, but it just exploded. Yeah, <laughs> like it exploded. It's like that uh, bird that Randy Johnson hit with the baseball yeah. back in the day. Greatest, like <laughs> great clip. I didn't see. I that mean, that should have been in the Hall of Fame immediately. Unbelievable. Is it like during a baseball? Yeah, yeah. he throws a fastball. The, and, uh, the probability of that happening, I'm saying, is. Can we see this. Footage? I think that bird yeah. was trying to end it. I think that bird's For like it's sure. been a lonely winter, not enough worms. Yo. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. What Pretty are the cool. chances? That's what Has I'm it ever happened in the history of the world ever? Look at that. Look that, that bird is flying low. How the that, fuck? That bird was trying to end a few things. But this is a guy who's throwing 100 mile an hour pitch and like a bird. What does the umpire do? He's like, uh, uh, uh ball. I don't, I don't <laughs> strike. Know. That's so that's got to be a strike. I don't care if the, the if it wasn't. That's got to be a strike. That's a strike. Yeah, you got to give them the strike. <laughs> that's like they, so cool. Even the batter's like, give them the strike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The batter's like, I'll take this one out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'll take my out. It. He deserves it. Yeah. Dang. No, my Instagram is just, uh, it's literally just hot chicks and Matt Rife clips. So <laughs> pretty cool. Oh, that's all my algorithm sweet, is. Matt Rife. Yeah. That's a world all in of itself. Is right that there. what you yeah, like yeah, to yeah. watch on TikTok? Is that like, what do you like to watch? What's your jam? I don't even, I like, I like prison TikTok. You ever watch those? Uh, yeah. Where they make food in prison. Oh, oh yeah. You guys just I had love a look. That. that was like the most loving thing. Yeah. <laughs> you guys just bonded over there. You're like, Chloe yeah. Dewey. Well, Dewey. I love, um, yeah, I agree. I like watching how they create food in Insane. prison. And they're like, you get your, your Frito bag from commissary. Yeah. You roll yeah. it up with yeah. some beef jerky. And you're like, what, dude? And it's always Top Ramen. They made a chimichanga yeah. out of Top Ramen. Shit's so good. I'm like, this is so much better than Chopped. Chopped. Like, mm, put some chives in there. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Somebody's cooking out here on a Timberland boot with a flame. It's yeah. pretty amazing. They're it's so unreal. resourceful. Yeah, They're the so smart. first time we ever had Danny Brown on, and he talked to us about cooking in jail and how he missed it. He was like, I actually <laughs> missed some of those things we made. Yeah. It's the best because it's so like, you don't have to do your shows dishes. How everybody will adapt, you yeah. know, to their situations. And, and, and also what they go through to film that. Like you ever put a Samsung in your ass just to make a cooking TikTok? <laughs> oh Anytime God, I'm ever not right? motivated, I'm yeah. like, I got my phone out of the Verizon store. I should be sure. thankful enough Hell to jam yeah. my ass. Hell yeah. Well, yeah. How do they fucking get a man's phone? It's got an iPhone 15 up there. Yeah. And they're uploading that shit. Yeah. How, but this is bro? our, this is a fun game we like to play. It's oh perfect God. segue. You're going to love this. Is, uh, there's these <laughs> inmates in Idaho who. Great place to be locked up. Who they, right? they're looking for love and they're looking for friendship. And they put up their video of like, hey, you can hit me up. Uh, oh. I'm looking for, and then we play it, and then you guess what they're locked up for. Oh, that's fun. Okay. I like that. So here's you, you guys have obviously seen that. It's not long enough to get to know somebody, oh. but a quick idea. This guy shot up an ICP an concert. <laughs> okay. I've oh. been drawing my whole life. Wow. I'm into that's very good. It's yeah. good. Work, cool tattoos, hot rods, rat rods, motorcycles, 
good music. I don't care about the genre as long as it's good music. Uh, I'm looking for somebody to talk to that's not testosterone filled tough guys. Good. I'm tired of that. I don't want to deal with it no more. So if you fit that criteria, get a hold of me. Bye. Mm. There you go. And that, was that Woods. a gun or Florida tattooed on his face? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so what do you think he did? This is all now. This is the tricky part, Trevor. I, might I warn you? Just it's not. It's never what you think it is. Yeah, my it's f- never what you think. It my is. first thought is arson. Mm-hmm. He's got the hat for arson. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go Grand Theft Auto on a bike. Okay, oh, wow. very specific. Yeah. Okay, um, he's into tattooing because he can draw tattoos. That looks like tattoo art, yeah, if yeah, I'm not yeah. mistaken. He's got a lot of tats on his hands, his face. He's in that culture. I'm going to go with drugs, crystal meth or something. Like maybe he was high on meth and he robbed like a liquor store. All right. Well, uh, Christopher Woods, shout out to uh, Unit 10. That's where he's locked up. Um, arrested for possession of illegal substance twice. Nice. Uh, the second time oh, he was drugs. arrested had a $50,000 fugitive warrant in the state of Idaho, was apprehended in California, um, driving on his way to Stockton with a woman and an infant. Oh, Stockton. So, yeah, he's checks out. Hey, Callie. Mm-hmm. Checks out, baby. So, uh, you know, not the worst guy. Let's no. Know. Jesus. Free Sucks. him. Yeah. If yeah. anything, yeah. Let's, start the, let's start the hashtag. He's, gonna be, he's eligible Woods. for a parole in 25. Oh, so. that's great. And that's what you no realize, time. too, is like the drug charge people, you're like, what are you doing? Yeah. Why yeah. are you taking up space also, in this place? Yeah. Just let him out. He's chill. He is, likes all types of music. Yeah. Just don't bring that testosterone around me. Yeah. I mean, that's a I'd hang out with the guy. He's against toxic masculinity. That's what we need. friend of women. Do you know what would be really fucked up? It just occurred to me, too is that there's so many now we know famous examples of uh, uh, like uh, catfishing you know yeah it's like imagine the person the guy that poses as a woman to these guys wait say it again. oh shit like how fucked up that would be how, how do, so how do they get that i'm saying cuz you there. could like pen pal like this is like to i think to pen pal with the people oh, you know right. what i mean yeah like you could really fuck with someone uh, really, i always wonder if you have like a tattoo of like tits on your arm like you think you could sell like like give me that pudding and I'll give you a peek. Uh, you're right. Yeah. Like that's oh, only fans yeah, in dude. prison right yeah. there. It is. Like wear a sleeve. <laughs> yeah. Like, like especially those super hyper real ones. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. That'd be rad. I'd be selling that for pudding packs. So, uh oh. My name's Gabe Allen. I'm okay. twenty four years old. No. Super young. Looks good. California. Just looking for shit to do, people to talk to. Oh. My information's in the description. No. My no. information in the description. No, no, no. That I, was really sad. Can I tell you something? This guy's a stone cold killer. Yeah, he, he shot up a bill Killed his bear. family. He killed like a sibling or something. This Jesus. guy is dark. I'm telling you, don't fall for the cute teddy boy. He act. also That's looks what like I've he could be in the what's that show? The Bear. Like he looks like he'd be in. Yeah, the cast you're right. Like he looks like he, he kind of looks like that guy a yeah, little bit. Yeah. Jeremy uh, uh, Allen, right? Yeah, yeah. Not a bad looking dude, and yeah. he played the sympathy card. He's like, you know, yeah, my, my information is in the description. If yeah. you even care. Yeah. Yeah, he's manipulative. Oh shit. Yeah, he there does look like Jeremy Allen White. Yeah. Oh my god. Good call, dude. Wow. That was perfect. Free him. I'm just going to say that for everybody. So you got a guess? Uh, I think he did something drunk and maybe took out uh, part of a family. Good guess. Aggravated DUI. Oh. Oh, okay. What does aggravated mean? Uh, It just kind of bothered while you're getting your DUI. (laughs) You know? (laughs) You're just in a bad mood. He's like, I really got to pee. Maybe did he like. Does, he, does that mean like you hit the cop or you try to like assault? Like you hit somebody? Aggravated DUI? How, uh, long is he, how long is he locked up for? Do we know that? Here's what distinguishes an aggravated DWI from a regular one. That you must be charged with more than just impaired driving or a blood alcohol content higher than 0.08%. You could also be charged with intoxicated manslaughter oh, snap. Uh, while driving drunk. Okay. So multiple, multiple DUI. Yeah. Mm. Uh, he's, he's eligible Poor kid. For where he's going to be released in Jesus until twenty nine. Twenty twenty nine? Yeah, twenty nine years. No, twenty twenty nine. Which, but that's a long he's time. Young. He'll still be hot when he gets out. Yeah, yeah. Thank God. He'll but be also, that means that this doesn't wasn't like that aggravated distinction. Means uh, that there's got to be more involved in this. You know? Ooh, yeah. There's just, it's just not the information isn't here. But he did. It's something. not as simple as oh, I got pulled over last he night. He killed somebody, yeah. maybe or. Yeah, yeah paralyzed maybe. Yeah. Or yelled it out the window. He's like, I'll kill you. But but hold on. So this kid could have just had a, a DUI like like a lot of people get, but he had like extra bad luck. Like yeah. maybe he accidentally 
yeah. killed somebody. Dude. Could have. That sucks because he does have sadness. Like there's very so sad. much in him. Yeah, he's very sad. Oh, now hopefully, I'm attracted to him. Oh. Hopefully, this, is this his story? <laughs> oh, it is his story. Dang. And, and where's he from? Way to go, Lewiston, uh, Idaho. Say California. Just be, California? Lewiston was traveling happened. north when he lost control, crossed into the opposite lane, being driven by forty. Da, 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 da. Alcohol was a factor in the collision, and uh. charges are pending. Both drivers were injured and transported. Uh, it was, is that maybe it's that somebody was severely injured? Yeah, you know? he was in a Kia Optima. Yeah, oh, yeah. maybe it's a classic DUI car. Yeah, Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is is the forty one year old Melinda alive or RIP? it just says injured? It doesn't say die. Oh yeah, so. free him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we keep freeing folks here. <laughs> I know. I wish we had like the veto free button. That's like free him. Free him. <laughs> My no. name's Caleb. Uh, I'm gonna be down for like a year or two. 21, Damn. 6 foot, 160 pounds, green eyes. Dude, like he's about I'm to get recruited to, to Penn State. You know, be nice to have a friend. Um, yeah, get at me. I don't know what he did, but keep him locked up. Yeah. He was running that like well, he was D1 Well, he gave stats. away some, right? He's like, I'm going to be locked up a year or two. So you know, it's not, you know it's not 25 year yeah. sentence. Ye fucking. 21. Young yo, dude. Yo, he like. This guy what stole like a nerd's rope or something. Yeah, he just did some bullshit. Like he stole something out of a car. But he had the hardest like prison accent out of everybody. He yeah. did. He and he's like, only doing two years. But it's also when you're 21, you're putting on more, right? To protect, like you're you're trying to posture more. Okay. Than like a 38 year old guy who's locked up, you know? That also looks like a Zoom background. Like it doesn't really look like he's <laughs> in prison. <laughs> he's too yeah, little, right? It does right. look like he's making a sketch about this. <laughs> right, yeah. exactly. It's like a green screen. Like if he moves a little, it's going to glitch a little bit. <laughs> No uh, eye contact is also, no. that's when you know it's like more posturing at the, yeah, like, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm just, I might be here one to two if I stay, you know, I might be here for three if I want. You know? yeah, it's yeah. all up to me. Yeah, he's leaving it on his toes. All right. Um, you what think do you it's, do? you ready? He just stole some shit, some little bullshit. He is incarcerated for possession of a controlled substance with the intent to deliver, controlled substance, mm. possession Drug of dealer. LSD, grand theft by LSD. receiving, possession of or disposing of stolen property and grand theft. So it's pretty, okay. it's not like Bullshit. free him, right? Yeah, but he's, sell, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's selling it, LSD. I feel like he had like such a hard tone. Like you think he'd be more like in the, well, like the whip it world. And like, uh, <laughs> that'd be a fun museum. Or fentanyl, like LSD doesn't kill anybody. No. So who gives kills a your shit? dreams. Yeah. yeah. Who cares just if melts he melts your brain. It's not yeah. that big a deal. Uh, no. I'm done playing. But he didn't give like LSD vibes. Like he. No. Well, Damn, dude. You know, Caleb, these, best these of luck. Kids got well, we'll fucked. see him in a year. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like these are the type of guys that would see them get out of it and then come to somebody at one of our shows and be like, dude, I, I saw you in your mom's house. <laughs> For a sure. thousand percent. Yeah. <laughs> and here's I'm the like, thing you're going to be doing a show in like 2026, and somebody's going to be like, what's up, fool? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, remember, right. Me? remember me? Shit. And then he's going to be like, dude, I'm Zoom background. Yeah. I'm like, oh, what's oh. up, dude? Scared it. Get him out. <laughs> yeah. Have you had shit like that before where people just like come to your oh, shows? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You talked about me or you've played this yeah. video, but I haven't had a prisoner do it yet. No. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, homie. But Not if they get phones in there, like you, they got to be watching podcasts in prison. For sure. For sure. For sure. That's yeah. so funny. Somebody is definitely has. De we've been playing this game for a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, There's yeah. definitely people who are like, check me out, yo, showing the guys. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. I would Which do anything for why prison. We club. love the prisoners of Idaho State Prison. Yes. Yeah. Huge you guys fans. Are you doing Boise anytime soon? <laughs> I am. I am. Him, actually. Holy shit! Or sorry, Boy C. As that's right. Yeah. That's right. You have cousins up there. Okay. It's Boy C. Oh, you guys, jacked. Christian. Oh. Bicep right at the end. Oh. 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 Oh, oh shit. Wow. There we go. This is new. There we go. Yes. Dang, he's jacked. Okay. Staying, staying fucking in shape, man. Porfirio. All right. Okay. Here's the deal, man. He's like, I'm Christian. That means he's definitely compensating for some dark shit. Oh, yeah. He's vain because he's taking the shirt off and he's showing you his muscles. He's totally a narcissist, like checked mm -hmm. out. So this kind of guy can kill. Yeah, that guy looks like he's something like Molly at EDC or something. I would be more impressed by the person in the back mopping. Like, if I was a chick watching, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, what's who's that, that guy? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting as you point out his narcissism. He also says in the video that he's 28, but the inmate Instagram caption says he's 31. <gasps> so he's actually knocking uh -oh. his age down, too. Interesting. Uh -oh. That's the red flag Dang. right there. But sorry to disappoint you. 
It's drug trafficking. That's it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Any good drugs, do they say? Doesn't say. Sometimes you get like a full report. Sometimes you just get a little it's bit. Tough. Yeah. Have you guys seen that Instagram mug shot shoddies? Yeah, I was just telling her about yep. that. Yeah. God. Yeah. That's crazy. Like they're just like hot chicks? Hot chicks and it says what they're locked up for. But and the comments like, are insane. But I think the the thing, the comments are hilarious. But the, the thing about it is that it really is this, it's playing this thing in your mind of your, yeah. you go, oh, a hot chick couldn't, you know, you you have your idea of what yeah, someone yeah. like that is capable of. And then you see, of course, like, you know, public drunkenness, DUI. And then you scroll and they're like fucking stabbed her boyfriend 18 yeah. times. You're like, Dang. whoa, like yeah. really crazy shit. You know, armed so robbery. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's single and she's cool. It's an Can insane we look at some? page. Would you mind bringing up It's pretty fun. Instagram has some gems right Can now. Have, see? have you seen the, the stand-up clips of like the kids doing the, the Cool Beans comedy? It's kids Aww. doing, it's at the Ice House and they're shooting their shows, but it's like 4K. It's our first set like ever. And the comments are horrendous. Oh, really? Aww. The comments are like, life-threatening oh come but on in a, but in a funny way oh, okay funny way but like it's it's kids doing their first set of stand-up ever and it's shot like Aww. a special but it's weird that they're uploading it like i don't that's very weird it it's is weird. weird kids should not be put on social media no. at all and especially so vulnerable my goodness they're like eight i'm like what are you gonna plug your tour dates y'all be at the mcdonald's playpen yeah. tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's 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 in bizarre well, I don't know. amanda vines did stand up as a child at the laugh factory and really you can tell what at age you know seven or eight you're like this girl's got so much much talent like even her oh, okay. timing was great you know her parents probably helped right yeah somebody from her this jokes. will like pop off but like yeah so, okay this so is click it. the first photo oh, these all look like she's hot covers. yeah right right DUI but this is... lipa what a great comment <laughs> what a great you know that's gracious i don't know who's account you're on but like that shit that's a good comment yeah, right? this is dude. like the kind of thing too that you see it's like you see her Damn. photo dui first offense and then comment like put putting me under her influence second <laughs> offense that's right? amazing like, <laughs> But then uh, click to the right. Yeah. Damn. Damn, her makeup looks good. Her yeah. looks good. Crashed into a parked car when cops asked if she had anything to drink. She said, I don't drink at all. Uh, She's delusional. Yeah. You got to love that. You got to yeah. love it. But she Hot looks women. great. Did she put on, and by the way, <laughs> she put on her lipstick before the shot because yeah. to get it that so fresh. Funny. Yeah, that's fresh. So that's Kama fresh. says, okay, so it's illegal to have a couple of road beers, question mark, free her. Yeah. <laughs> free her. Yeah. the theme of this. Free her definitely the theme. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God! It like it looks like um it looks Tia like Tequila, the old yeah. Tia, yeah. Tequila, Tequila yeah. when she Possession was normal. of cocaine. She's still coked out in that photo. She's so coked out. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's like, I haven't got new headshots like, in a while. Might as well. Yeah, she's smiling. <laughs> at big. The a lot of times you see the big smile. Go ahead. She's yeah. a real socio. Oh. That, keep her locked up. Yeah. yeah. She uh, met a 61 year old man on a sugar daddy website. Trashed his home. Stole a bunch of items. Dumped laundry detergent on his head after he refused to give her. <laughs> yeah, somebody deserves to be locked up. Also, what are you stealing oh, from a sixty-one-year-old's house? Come on, like cane? What are you stealing? Oh, no. yeah. Cans Butter of scotch soup? candy. Keep hey, going. Yo, can I tell you? Yeah. The, hold on, Ooh. go look at her. Um, uh, the lack of eyebrows, a shaved eyebrow. Look at, look at this. Oh, I know. Open she, murder. She's oh, hot. Damn. Yeah. Looks like that caller daddy girl. Yeah. What is open murder? It's between oh. first and second degree murder. I've never it's heard open that. for your interpretation. Yeah. Oh. It's like however you want to view it. Yeah. I only went to law school for two weeks. We didn't get that. Far. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard that But before. like, here's the thing, right? This is what's fascinating about this site, I think, is you just look at this person. You don't think never. homicide. You never know? in a million no. years. The eyes say murder, though. The eyes are very vicious, but the mask, still. The mask is a nice touch, though. Yeah, it is. She's safe. Yeah, she cares exactly. about it. I mean, getting somebody okay, else. Okay, can, like, can, we, can we read more? Sorry about her charge. I'm just curious um, because entering a dwelling while possessed. So she went in to a place to and, kill, and kill someone. Yo, yeah. a guy fucked her over. Hell yeah. hath no yeah. fury. Some guy fucked this bitch over. She looks like she works for like a dentist or something. Yep. She's wearing her scrubs, dude. Maybe this the bitch dentist. cleaned your teeth last week. Yeah. It does look like that moment where they're like, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have an appointment? And mm -hmm. then she just goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, she no. has an open invitation to enter my dwelling anytime she wishes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the comments are yeah, insane. People always. are so desperate yeah. for just every man in, is commenting on these. Is just like, yeah, she deserves probation. Yeah, yeah. what do you do if you're a girlfriend and your boyfriend's <laughs> commenting on these yeah. photos? Desperate stuff. Uh, do you say anything and just like find? Will you help. scroll a few more? Go to the to the right. Sorry, I'm mean, the photo wise. Watch Tom Segura. Uh, He's like, she no. needs to be. Go ahead. Draw. Hold on. Theft. Oh That's God. a big one you'll see on this too. That a lot like of theft. Paris Fashion Week, right there. Yeah, right. and I think she probably was stealing like designer stuff too. I could see that, right? She looks crazy. 
She has crazy eyes. Yeah, she's crazy. Yeah. To catch it. Also, like a denim jacket in jail no. doesn't sit right. No. She got she got a turtleneck. Couple, Am she I got, some, a yeah, turtleneck? she got some Lucy's in there for sure. Sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, drugs! Right. Aggravated. <gasps> kind of looks like child. me. If we're gonna oh, be honest. No. <laughs> <laughs> From the side. Oh my you're god! You're me? right. Dude. You're telling me. <laughs> yeah. No, she's tough though. You could tell this this chick like has been in fights, right? Like you you could yeah. tell she's got that that fucking aggression in her hundred percent mm. she's beat up boys before you know mm -hmm. gosh then the comments get real some guy just wrote she's not even hot question mark yeah. damn that's <laughs> that's she's brutal. already going to prison why yeah. you gotta be such a dick to no, her dude? i yeah. think she she photographs well <laughs> straight on yeah yeah she can photo she, she knows her angles yeah she's a front she on knows shoddy. her angles because she's doing like uh, front shot shoddy that's yeah, what we'll dog. call her yeah, dog. go ahead go ahead <laughs> Uh, attempted carjacking. Keep going. <laughs> Get her nice girl That's smile. Now like, we're talking. Weed. Come on. It's funny when yeah. you see people locked up for weed. DUI. Oh, DUI. Look here. at her face. She's like, yeah. wah, wah. whoa. That's what's she. With the outfit. That's DUI. Wait. That looks like the people that would DM you from like bots right there. Yeah. Wait, why is she wrapped in gauze? What's that outfit? Uh, maybe what she was wearing. That's what she was wearing. She got no, dress coded. No, they, they cover her up. You see oh. what I mean? Like she eat like. It could be that it's torn or it's inappropriate. Yeah, and they yeah. cover her up. She had the spaghetti straps. They don't allow it. Go ahead. More deal. <laughs> I like the smile. <laughs> me too. She's she's got a little something going. Oh, Bad yeah, eating. Yeah, yeah. The hottest one for me. The whole. Yeah, she's time. rad. <laughs> yeah, you like her, huh? Yeah, a little like face tattoos. Yeah. Speeding. She's probably speeding to my heart. You know. Yeah. Hey. Come over. Yeah. She put those that with like that singer that's dead. She looks like her. Amy Winehouse. Yeah, she got Winehouse vibes mm. to her. She's yeah. reckless as fuck. Wow, four counts of sexual assault. Hey, that's yeah. rare. Institutional decent, yeah. sexual assault. With a person under 16. School counselor. Wow. No shit. Yeah. That's yeah. the chick that balls you when you're a teenager. And this photo, this too, is such a moment. Because this photo Fuck. is the moment that this woman is realizing yeah. like her world yeah. has completely flipped up. So like it's, it's right in this moment. She's like, Fuck. Mm -hmm. Like she knows right now that everything is about yeah, to change. She kind of looks like a Wii character if you ever played a. Uh, Those eyebrows are fucking. Well, man. that's again, yeah, I was going to yeah. say, if you'll notice the, the common denominator, the eyebrows get thinner and thinner and weirder and weirder yeah. and more and more penciled in. Yes. Oh, the bigger the crime, the smaller look, the eye, look at, eye, Notice eyebrows. the eyebrows. Nobody saw, I don't think many of them have normal eyebrows. No. No. It's always no. like I shaved it off, I pencil I've it in. I've met people who have tattooed eyebrows. Sure, but, same. But, but, but not like the like the the line. It's like shaded in. Microblading, so looks, they yeah. call it. Yeah, yeah, it's like shaded in, so it looks real. Bro, I would never commit no. to tattooing anything on my face, even mm -hmm. like eyebrows. Like what? No. It, you know what I mean? Like what if you change your mind one day and you're like, I don't like that shape. Yeah. All right, we got so one down. more. We got one more from Idaho Correctional Facility here. Beautiful. Hey, yo, what's up? My name's Sean. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video and possibly get to know me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's as fuck back here, but it'd be a lot more interesting if you'd hit me up. Uh, <laughs> I always like the other than that, one. I guess I'll be here waiting. Later. Later. I'm a huge fan of Sean. Yeah, he's it really like he's about to lean in and kiss the camera. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that parting <laughs> smile, too. That's a little smirk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I like, love, you know you liked what I just did. And I did. love when they have lines. Yeah. Like, they yeah. come, come with, like, a little line, like, I'm just a shorty trying to make a hotty. I like well, him. Yeah. Oh, man, he's done the worst of it. You think so? Because I like him the most. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you think? think? I think Grand Theft Auto, but like a good car, like a Mini Cooper. You yeah. know, something oh. cute. Something yeah. like have it, you know? He um, he stabbed someone in the chest during a fight. Aggravated battery. I was close. Oh, yeah. I was close. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. He you stabbed know? somebody? Yeah, he's in maximum security, yeah. Damn. Oh, no. Yeah, you can tell. He's oh. the first guy with bars behind his camera. That's yeah. why the... <laughs> That's his room yeah. right there. Yeah. That's right. It's usually you can tell how much freedom they have behind them. Face behind that, yeah. They're like, oh. Yeah, this dude's recording in a hamster cage. and shit. They're not roaming free. <laughs> oh, they know? don't get to go to Damn. the commissary. Pretty cool, right? Fun game? That's a great game. Yeah. That's a fun one. Yeah. That's a good I like one. that. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You're going to like the way you look. Yep. I guarantee it. This is the most fun thing that I've seen, though, that uh, they pulled for us, is that this guy couldn't get a reservation at uh, like one of the most popular restaurants, I think in London, mm -hmm. um, Goodman Mayfair, a, a fancy steakhouse in London. Sounds Ooh. rich. So they couldn't. They were, they were like, we're totally booked. You know, like like what happens in big cities with with great restaurants. Yeah. So he told them that he was the prime minister of Morocco. <laughs> Ooh, and That's then they cool. were like, okay. So he was treated like royalty. Oh my god. And then. As this ha this happens in nice restaurants, they get wind of who's there, and they were like, "Can you take a photo? Can you sign oh. things?" And they're asking him, 
No. Yes. He's signing plates? Yes. Yeah. I would fully just write Prime Minister. And, uh, I wouldn't do my name. Future. It's just some guy. Oh my god. So he fully committed. What? He's wearing a Tommy it? Bahama t shirt. I know. Yeah. And they're like, where's your like he just got off fully loaded. Oh, where's you. your security detail? Yeah, he just strolls in. Mm-hmm. I mean, is that illegal to Mm-mm. pretend to be like a. I don't think so. Not to get a reservation. Prime Minister of another country? Start trying that. Dude, you yeah. have to do that. You yeah. have to do that. Oh, in some places, yeah. I'll have my friends call places and pretend to be my manager. Like we have or you're also, you're in. young enough <laughs> and look young enough where you could, they could be like, uh, the son of. Son of. Yeah. Son of. A, is of a the ambassador one. is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. That okay. I would believe. Yeah. One of the things that I do that some of you may not realize or oh. may realize is that I take dollhouses and I recreate the actual murders of <laughs> families that took place in houses in the house itself. They're 112 scale and I study the crime scene photos and I recreate them as closely as possible right down to the knots tied around their hands and feet. Isn't that cool? We could start having these all over the house. Um, and this is my next project. This, mm. this house came to me via my friend Carrie, all the way from I don't even know where she got it, somewhere in Pennsylvania. But it's Always so Pennsylvania. cool because all four sides open up, and I can't wait to get started. I don't know what kind of murder it's going to be yet, but stay tuned and you'll find out. <laughs> Fun for the holidays, you could do a gingerbread house. Yeah, no. licorice have be blood, an Cut edible up. one. Yeah, that's That'd a good cool. idea, dude. That is insane. That's really cool. You know, it's um, yeah. I don't know if I'm on board with this, but I have visited the house that Sharon Tate got murdered in. Really, the Manson murder house. Who's oh. more fucked up in this table right now? <laughs> Not the guy for who fun. was like, "Hey, like this video," or someone who's like, <laughs> "Hey, I went to the house." <laughs> but because, because the, the, night there, yeah. because the person that bought it, I was I had a meeting with that person at their okay? house. At their house, they tore it down, redid the house, changed the address. Obviously, and I you can do that. You can do that. True. No, no. But now the real question is why, right? So I was sitting down, very nice person, and I go, I just have to ask you, why on earth does it smell like murder in here? Yeah, why would you buy the yeah. Sharon Tate murder house? And you know, he <laughs> goes, well, it turns out, um, land where people get murdered on gets a pretty good discount. So I got a really good deal on this. That property. is true. I was like, what, dude? It's not not a bad idea. I don't know. Is I it wouldn't want to live there, dude. I wouldn't no. want to live there. Weird vibes, weird like voodoo that. going on. And that was really horrific what happened there, you know? Like, that like, was gnarly. Cut her up while she was pregnant. pregnant. And, like, I mean, that's fine. Not fucking... interested, bro. Well, Nine Inch Nails record. Trent Reznor rented the house out, too. If I was in a band, I'd live there. Give me some, like, dark Some energy. dark vibes. Yeah. Could you sleep there at night, though? I'd be not so Airbnb. fucked up, dude. Mm, no, I'd record there in the day. If you were goth, yeah. Yeah, sleep upside down. Yeah, like no. a bat or something. Were you weird in high school? I did have like, I, li- I had a year where I listened to like metal music and I had like gauges in my ears. Or, oh, like, my, like, you did? Can I see yeah. them now? Did they close yeah, up? I, uh, yeah, they closed up, but like I could show you a photo. Oh. Like, wow. Yeah, it was just weird. Like I could put my pinky through my ear. It was weird. But I, I thought chicks would be like, that's so hot. It was just guys being like, yo, what size is that? <laughs> <laughs> everything I did yeah. in high school was to try and attract women, but it only attracted men. Yeah, that's yeah. everything. I had a Honda Civic with two 12 inch subwoofers in the back. You're Sweet. Like, chicks, like chicks are going to hear me bump and walk a flock at 7 a.m. and be like, yeah, I need dog. to suck his dick now. <laughs> yeah. It never happened. Never. It's just guys being like, yo, how many death bowls can those cranks? I hate everything. Yeah. I was just yeah. a chameleon in high school. I don't know like what I was. So I had sure. like, a metal phase. And then like the rap and just, I don't know. Did you know. figure it out like at, right after graduating or was that a process? Pretty much after graduating. I went to college and that's when I kind of found it out. That's when I started making Vine and doing stand up. Being and, yourself. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I was just myself because it was like a whole new, like. Where was college? San Jose State. Okay. Up in the Bay Area. Uh, yeah, I just like, it was a whole new like slate. So I was just like myself. And then like that got kind of highlighted, I think. Because I was like the funny guy in the group, but not like funny to the whole like fraternity. Mm-hmm. And then I was making vines and then there's like a decent stand-up scene in San Jose. So I was doing like, and I was in a frat. So I, I would hit up the guys at the San Jose Improv and I'd be like, yo, I can bring 50 people for a five minute set. And it's they're amazing. just like, all they hear is just dollar signs. And yeah. they're like, yeah, yeah, come do five. We don't give a fuck. Yeah. So I was getting early stage time. And Were your vines blowing up when you were in I, school? 
I had, uh, like one or two do decent, but nothing where like I could like have a career off of it. How many? Well, when they did, did decent, though, I'm saying that when you're on campus, is that like a thing? I got recognized people... once on campus, and it was great day. It was great, huge day Chick? for me. Chick, hey, yeah. 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 She's like, do you like make videos? And you had to be like, <clears throat> what? Yeah. Me? Yeah, I've thought about it. Oh yeah, uh, but yeah, I had one get big, and then it kind of died out right as I moved to LA. Really? And then I just yeah, 2015, and then I just only did stand up and like mics, and then making YouTube videos on Face and Facebook videos in like 2017. But what happened to Vine? Why did it die? It seems like it was hugely popular. It kind of like started to die off, and then I think they were just pulled the plug on it, mm-hmm. which I think is better. I think how they just kept running its course would have turned into like some weird. Yeah, yeah, you know? would have been bought by something. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it was already owned by Twitter, which is weird because you'd think they wouldn't let that die. Yeah. Why, why? I don't know. Yeah. Just but it's it. kind of good. It's like, it's it's more of like a, a chunk in time. It's kind of like the Chappelle show effect where it's like, why only two and a half seasons? It's like, why yeah. do they, I think if they let Vine keep going, it would have got so Did bad. the, does the app stay functional? Did they, like, I mean, no, I think you can still on your desktop pull it up, but I, the app's not, the not, app doesn't not work. Not even functioning. No. Uh-uh. And that is crazy that they just go, yeah, shut it down. There's none. They'll probably like redrop an archive or something in the future. I don't know. There's always like a, a rumor that they're going to start a second one, but it's like. But I don't the think... good news is that Vine is so similar to TikTok, no? Like yeah, the format, 100%. it's the same same shit, different toilet. To quote Alan Iverson, the late great AI. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I I think I was just on it for a couple of years. It gave me a little bit of inspo and like, oh, cool. This is how you make. Because I went to film school and they were teaching me all these like giant ass cameras. I'm like, this sucks. What am I going to do with this massive film rig? It's like, how do I just make sure with my friends? Did you love film school? No. No. They were like just, it was honestly lazy. They would just show us like, like an old, old, old like film and be like, this is how you do it. And I'm like, okay, now That's what? It. Yeah. The old Wes Anderson. But then you right. make, uh, then you get to make your stuff too? Like you. Yeah. But the. The, we were making it on like not fun stuff. Like we were shooting on like like a giant like news camera. Mm-hmm. So it, it's not like the stuff I wanted to make. The best stuff was like the stuff I was making with my friends outside of film school on like a little Canon or like a Sony DSLR or something. Mm-hmm. And then right after that, pretty much like moved to LA and then just started making stuff. Fine. That's awesome. Just more YouTube videos, really. That's so cool. Up, yeah. You're such, I mean, how old do you mind if I ask? How 30? Old are you? Yeah. Like you grew up purely digital and I'm, Tom, too, we're like the last of the analog generation. I didn't have a cell phone or send an email until I... I I sent my first email when I was 19. Holy shit. And then my first phone, I was 22, 23. Yeah. So to to have your brain formed in Vine, your brain's literally been formed in apps, in the iPhone. Yeah. That's really crazy. Like, even listening to you talk, I'm like, whoa. Sixth grade. Wow. Sixth grade. I've been clocked out for a minute now. Were you guys all watching porn then, too? No, they didn't have. That was the time where like internet was like, oh fuck! I clicked the internet button. Get out! Oh, get out! Oh, oh, because it's gonna charge data. I don't think I was able to watch porn on a phone until like I don't know, eye touch in like high school. Oh, that's high school. Cool. And I touch myself. A yeah. Lot, yeah I think. <laughs> I um. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Uh. High. Late high school. But it was it was great because I grew up in that era. But then I was also doing so much stand up that it just like I was able to like balance out like oh is this idea more stand up or is this more of a video? Mm. I've always just kind of like just been in between on and that. do you gauge like oh that bit did well on tiktok it that uh that'll really crush and stand up like do you ever try a joke out on tiktok and then take it to stage uh usually if it goes on tiktok then i'm kind of like that joke's been like burned, burned. essentially like it, that uh video but a lot of times if a if a stand-up isn't like working on stage i'm like yeah, maybe it just needs to be more like a visual then i'll just make the video out of it oh oh wow yeah sometimes yeah. it's hard to paint the picture it's so clear in my head but then you're describing it and people are like i'm lost and then you're just like, oh, I just will put this on a green screen or I'll just make this somewhere. And yeah, it's so much easier to just show. Wow. But that's so unique that your brain can work both as a stand up comic and that world. Yeah, it's like you know? two different jobs in my head. Yeah. Like all daytime, I focus on like video stuff. And then around like five is when I start getting more in stand up mode and like, you know, right. switch it over. Writing. Yeah, yeah, switch it's it over. A totally different beast in my mind because yeah. stand up is relational. It's you with the audience and getting that flow and that rhythm and that feedback. But yeah. this, just making a TikTok, it's just you and the camera and it feels so isolating and weird. It's fucking lonely posting videos because these views are just like, does this. Not to sound fucking emotional, but like, does this mean anything? You like yeah. refresh it and you're like, okay. Yeah. But then you try a new tag and that hits and you're like, wow, my day is so much better now. Yeah. So yeah. I, just, I like both. I have to have the duality of both. And I think they cool. both help. And podcasting because you guys podcast. Yeah. Too. Podcast. Podcasting is great too. And podcasting is great because I'll just like spew some memory out that I had years ago. And I'm like, oh, it's such a good like 
I could write that out. Yeah. You know, it's not something I would ever think about. How long you guys been doing it now? You've been doing it a while. Probably like four years. Oh, wow. Four, That's maybe cool. five. Yeah. That's uh, Stiff Socks. It's me and my buddy, you know. Is that, is that all sex then? Is that like sex themed? It, it didn't end up being like that. It was just like a funny name. I don't yeah. even know where the name came from. I just wanted something that wasn't like the Trevor and Michael show. Sure. It just sounds yeah. so like AM radio. Yeah, Stiff yeah. Socks is a good name. Yeah, I think it's it just name. stuck. And then what happened? We had one porn star hit us up to be like, hey, we love your stuff. Can we... Can we be on the show? I was like, sure. And then that episode just did crazy. And then it fuels more. Yeah. And then yeah. their friends hit us up. And it's like, now we're like, okay, let's not. And then we'll go like six months <laughs> and views are low. And we're like, Riley Reed, where are you yeah, at? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, they are, dude, they're great interviews. But it's like, we don't want that to be like the number cool one. Like, right. it's so funny when I'm at an airport and a 13 year old comes up with his parents, like, oh, I watch Stiff Socks. And the parents, are like, what? And I'm like, I don't think you should be, yeah, you know, sure. It's a yeah. weird. <laughs> but yeah, it's not like uh, a lot of people do think it. Is. But also, what's great about that being called stiff socks is like if we ever say anything that you get mad about, it's like imagine citing oh that source. God. Yeah, stiff On. socks podcast said it's like yeah, yeah. it's a cum podcast. Yeah, it's about jizzing. Yeah, yeah. so it, it, if it comes turns on us, we're just like yeah, it's just just come talk. What, yeah. what do you mean? Come what talk. Come talk. Now that's the name and of that's another podcast. What it is. You yes. Do. Prison talk and then come, come talk. talk. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Come talk about prison. Yeah. Ta-da. Dude, those are like my the favorite topics. Up. Somebody dude. should just start come talk. <laughs> I mean, I there's a bunch of podcasts that are basically <laughs> come talk. Yeah. Any <laughs> podcast with more than two dudes. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the ones that are in like Miami and it's like 10 uh, people around Yeah, the table? round table yeah, thing. Yeah, it's like, it's like two dudes and then like uh, 10 women. And those clips are great because he's like, what do you, uh, wh- how crazy. would you rate yourself? Yeah. And then yeah. the chick's like, I don't know, I think I'm like a nine. Yeah. He's like, in what world? Yeah. It's, he's literally just, doing like crowd work with yeah, that. Yeah. And then he it's, just like shits on me. He's like, what yeah. do you fucking bring to the table? And then the girl's just like, I think I bring everything. What kind of job do you have? Yeah. And it's just like this interrogation yeah. to like, strip down some shit. You invited me here. Why are you yeah. talking shit? Yeah. Right? Exactly. Did you imagine if you guys did that to me right now? You're like, yeah. how's your special? Oh I'm like, that's God. pretty good. Like, it's fucking pretty good. Is it? Pterodactyl? Spell it, dumbass. Yeah. Can you spell it? Oh, T no, no uh, P T E R O D A C T Y L. Dang! Wow. I've had to look at it so that, fucking. Bro. Did I do it? Yes. Yeah, you did. I've had yeah. to look at it so many goddamn times promoting this thing, but it's like I thought it was a good name because it stuck. I wanted like a like I thought Sledgehammer was great. Boom! It's yeah, right down right, the middle. It, it yeah. sticks, and yeah. there's like three dinosaurs that like, anybody knows. Yeah. So T Rex, like, Brontosaurus, Pterodactyl. Uh, yeah. T Rex. Yeah. Just I think that was band. all of them. Yeah. T Rex was banned. Oh, fucking slapped. Bang a gong, get it on. Oh, I know a song. That's T-Rex. Yes. Yeah, so I wanted something. <laughs> what? I think. So I wanted a, a title that was like, oh, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. It leads to a question. You know, it's like, ooh. It's either the dumbest title you've ever heard or you're like, huh. Does it play any significance in the show? Yeah, I, I have does. a couple of callbacks okay. to it and I like have a reference to it and then a callback like uh, two or one or two more in it. So it like it had us a nice reoccurring theme to nice. it. Nice. You know what's funny is that... Um, Girls, like when we do specials, you, you can't do anything weird like that, really. It really? can't be like silly knickers because they're like, wait, well, what if that has nothing to do with anything? And you're like, yeah, but I, it's just I don't think funny... you can use that one. No, no, because it sounds a little something like something else, right? But sorry, I don't know why. I just <laughs> that thought the word was just funny. got real warm in here, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, but it always has example. to. <laughs> well, it has to be related to being a lady. It's yeah. so funny because every time I, because I tried to submit like a normal title, comedy Mom title, jeans. No, and it became that later because yeah. they were like, "But what about like what's like who are you? What's your lane?" Uh, and they're like, "Oh, you need like a, a, a woman just call title." It that bitch. The next one's gonna be yeah. What should we take? What, what should I name my next one? Can silly, you help me out? silly, silly knickers. Yeah, doubling down. K N I C K. I think you just yes. lose the silly. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> no, those are that's a word for pants. Yeah, or, yeah. You're, you're, yeah. Your knickers. You never heard of them? Here we go. Number it's three. Panties. <laughs> What, the, the, this is a word in the English language. It sure guys. is. We have English view, British viewers, the UK. That's what they call them. I watch a lot of British television. That is, that is what they're called in the UK. So have you ever seen... <laughs> uh, what is the science behind drinking your own pee? It's good for oh, parasites. Sweet. It's extremely powerful. I have a little bit in the morning and the topical. This is I what really podcasting like should be. As well. Oh, I do use it yeah, on my skin. So you pee on your skin. I pee in a, a mason jar and I let it ferment for a couple of weeks. And oh, then I wow. I put it on my body. Wow. And then I'll go work out. Like I'll lay in the sun for a while and put it on my body. Who and is this guy? Feels like but he looks great. Huge pump. He I've looks never done great. Anabolic steroids, but I can only imagine. I just feel pump. I feel vascular. Wow. Can I say something? We've had so many pee drinkers over the years on this show. They've never been a guest. I mean, we feature them. Yeah. There's got to be a disorder at this point. No? Can you Google it? Like, is this a disorder? His name is Troy 
Casey. He's an ex-model and world-renowned life coach and healer who has written books and health about, <laughs> Imagine about you pay for a teaches. life coach and he's yeah. like, let me see your <laughs> urine. Okay. Yeah. What? One thing. Are you not saving this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to let this sit in your closet for a few weeks. So he just rubs it on him? And he drinks, and he drinks it. Drinks and he, it. Yeah, he but he lets it ferment, which I usually in the pee drinking community, I've never heard that. I usually hear it's fresh out of the tank. Or you let yeah. it separate and then you drink the top layer. Oh, you can drink okay. your own urine. It's it is sterile. This uh, guy, he seems like a silly. If it separates, a silly. N- <laughs> what, how would you say it again? <laughs> He's a silly knicker. <laughs> Christ. Zoom in on Christina for that. <laughs> I, don't care. I don't care. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's extreme. It's good for you, man. You know, it's extremely powerful. <laughs> Science oh, yeah. overwhelmingly agrees that urine is not safe or healthy to consume, despite what dramatic survival mo- movies suggest. Drinking urine isn't even a good way to hydrate. Here's the breakdown of why you should never drink urine. It's so, a potent combination of salts and chemicals that your body is attempting to remove. Yeah, and you're like, no, put it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what does WebMD know? You know, yeah. give it back. The only yeah. way I'd ever drink my urine is if I could pee in my own mouth. The, the average oh. adult urine contains a significant amount of salt, which gets much more concentrated if you become dehydrated. Dehydrated individuals can quickly reach excessive levels of sodium in their urine. Consuming more sodium is linked in increasing your thirst. Higher levels of sodium in your body quickly lead to feeling thirstier. By drinking urine, which contains a high concentration of sodium, you can quickly develop a negative feedback loop in which you feel thirstier despite drinking liquids. Of course. Yeah. Well, I don't know. But I mean, also, his skin looks great. Look at this guy. Yeah. And he's fit. Fucking jacked. Fit as a fiddle. Sure is. I mean, I I drink my own pee. I would too. Have you done it? No. I try it. How about your loads? Never, never try to load. Have you? No. I've had it like shot, you know, oh man, you know. It's, yeah, the glasses yeah. are good for yeah, that. Yeah, they're good for that. Yeah. Sometimes you get it like right here, right here. No, I never would aim a gun at myself. So like, I mean, I never... I've just been laying back, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, I had a singer on my show on Where My Mom's At, Mandy Mayhem. She's a rapper and mm-hmm. she drank a man's piss like right out of his dick hole into her mouth. Like a beer bong? Just look. Yeah, dude. Who did now, this? Mandy Mayhem. She was on my show just recently on where my mom's at. She They planned it, and so he drank a lot of water 24 hours prior mm-hmm. to her drinking so his it, piss. Like, really diluted. Fresh out of the tap, and yeah. she went from, like, farm to table, dude, like, right there. I, I like breastfeeding it. I a little bit. Isn't yeah. that wild? And she, she gulped she it. She enjoyed, enjoyed it? No, she just was kind of like, I did it. Because it was she was okay. curious. And I was like, well, what was it, like, what did it feel like? She's like, it was just kind of warm, like, cum is warm. And I was like, yeah. And it didn't taste a whole lot because it's gonna be like was slow clean. though. No, like I, I, it takes me like a minute and a half to pee. I, I got a small pee hole. Doctor told me that. Seriously? Yeah. He so told does Heather me. McMahon. She pees super fast. It comes out of her. I don't pee no, fast. He pees slow. Slow. Oh. Yeah. It's a lot of you know. It's a lot of people trying to get out at once. Got you. Yeah. Wait, and this person's a comic. Heather McMahon has a tiny. No, I mean the person too. that drank the pee. Oh yeah. No, no, she's not a comic. Sorry, she's done comedy sketches, but she's Sing? a rapper. Mandy oh. Mayhem. Oh. And she's a rapper, yeah. She's on TikTok and Instagram. You can find her everywhere. I was like, okay. wonder what the dude's doing that whole time. Enjoying himself because it was his fetish. He was oh, just he was so into it. stoked. Oh, got oh. you. Yeah, no, he prepared for it. Like, they talked it over. That was his fetish. And he spent wow. days, like, preparing like, his year. You can't have asparagus for a week. Fetish service? It, like? No, they were dating for like oh, for like okay. a while. I and guess you gotta spice it up every yeah. once in and a while. He just really wanted her to drink his piss, and so, so she he did. was like, she was like, all right, yeah. I tried that. That was yeah. the end of that. Got to keep it fresh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm not good. I'm not into that. I'm not into that either. I don't no. think I want to no. piss. No, because then she's gonna just have to pee. It'd be funny <sighs> if, the, if he had it after, like a human like centipede. Like human centipede to piss. Human centipede. Yeah. So she she pees out his pee and then he drinks his pee. Oh fuck! Yeah. We're pees back in her mouth we're again. We're back in. All right. <laughs> I wonder how did they pick Dude. the order for human centipede? Who got first? Who got last? Was that like Such a, a good point. first is where you want to be? Yeah, right? first That's is great. You just get your ass eaten and then you're just done. Yeah, you're just hanging out and you're just dumping the whole time. Yeah, wait, but oh, hold on. Man. Isn't the purpose? I don't think there is a first, you guys. Yeah, the, I think first. they connect, don't they connect? No. Nah. Oh, like a circle? Yeah, dude. Whoa. No, I think that first person oh, you have to leads eat. the way. I think it's a yeah. line. Yeah. yeah. The conga line. Circle would yeah. make sense, but it's like a game of telephone, you know? Yeah. See if it gets back to the original. <laughs> but you're the back of that thing. You're a, That's rough. Ooh, you know? the last yeah. guy in the centipede? Yeah. You're like, oh, fuck, I'm late. And you're like, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> just pointing at the end of the line. Oh. How do you not God, just... That's my oh, worst man. nightmare. Wait, hold on. That might be my worst nightmare, to be in a human centipede. Yeah, be I the back of the just, line? <laughs> At least being Ew. in the middle is kind of warm. You feel surrounded. You feel loved. Do you think you feel sick? I would just want to die. <laughs> I cut myself. 
Yeah. I would choke. Here's on the my... thing: it would take so long for you to die. So long. Yeah. Wait, how long before you die from eating caca? What do you feel like sneeze while you're in the middle of it? Because oh. hey, come on now. Do you think you would die? Wait, you would starve to death, right? Like from malnutrition, because you can eat poo. Doctor Drew's told us you can eat poo. Oh my god! But I think it depends what the person before you is eating. Are they high in nutrients? No, but the nutrients have been taken out. Oh, theoretically, because it's been digested and digested. So oh, by the that's time how it's food works. You, gotcha. What happens when you Wait, eat Wait, should we ask Dr. Drew what happens? <laughs> How long before you die from eating poo? I don't know, dude. I'm going to be I mean, sick you should be shot this. in the head that after one meal of shit. <laughs> I think it's from malnutrition, honestly. You should be taken out back and just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Google on every <gasps> producer's laptop is so funny. I know. It's like, so You should just gnarly. put one of these in an airport and like, just leave it. <laughs> Somebody really asked this question. Yeah, this is... <laughs> How this is somebody in the middle of the pandemic just God, staring at a plate of shit I like, oh, it. God. God bless the internet. This? Considering you would die if you couldn't poo not long, you're in a sterile poop is smelly full of bacteria. <laughs> However, in theory, ingesting stool should not be that harmful as long as it's, quote, clean. Uh. Ingesting these bacteria back in the colon could metabolize non-digested food. Thus, eating poop would give a, you a second chance to absorb the food again. However, a lot of infections... <laughs> Come from contact with poop. Practically all foodborne infections come from other people's poop, making it dangerous to eat if it's not your own. Yeah. Conclusion: Assuming you are a healthy person, eating your own poop would probably not harm you. Eating other people's poop that could kill, kill you. you. Ah. It's someone else's caca that will lead yeah. you astray. I like how they cited their sources. <laughs> like somebody yeah. was going to read this and be like, "Yeah, but where did you hear this from?" Well, Gawker. Francis took it upon himself to look it up. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 404. Uh, let's see. What's gawker.com? See, you know what's interesting is that Dr. Drew, we should have been more specific. We're like, can you eat poo? The question is, can you eat somebody else's poo? Ah. You can eat your own poo. Th th this is the linchpin to the whole thing. You just can't eat somebody else's poo. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking, oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I won't try it today. Give Hold it a on, shot. Trevor, see how it goes. But look at you meet your dream girl. She's mm -hmm. your dream girl. I yeah, mean, this is best. it. Mm -hmm. She just. She does everything you love. She gargles your pee. She, she gargles takes, your yeah. pee. But mm -hmm. her one thing, and she's like, "I once a year, you need to eat my poo." Can I pick the day? Yeah. Okay. Does that matter? Yeah, probably. Do it in like December when you're like not working as much. You don't have to. I think you got to take people. control of her diet for like a week if you yeah. do that. Like yeah, a yeah, week. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so what do you cows do? are like grass fed. I'm like, can she be? Yeah. You, know, you can do that. She'll work with you on that. The whole thing, or just like a bite. <laughs> I'm out. A bite, a bite, I a bite, do, just a bite of poo. Do you like butt stuff? Not really. No. Just a bite of poo no. for the woman of your are dreams. You always, are you licking butts a lot? No, I think I did it once. And then Not the girl's like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, it's an accident. Uh -huh. like, yeah, I don't. He got shamed. Do you like your butt getting toyed with and everything? I've had that. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad. Male G-spot hiding back there. Yeah. Ali Ali Oxen free. That's where the hiding spot is. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's not I bad. I that saying. Ali Ali Oxen free. Yeah, it's been a yeah. yeah. It sounds like something you would yell. That's your next special name. Let's see if I can get it passed. Yeah, the other one, I think we've kind of all voted on I that. I think I would just get so, so many people in. But uh, it would, you know, Rumble would love it. <laughs> Rumble would love it. I don't know what Rumble is. You don't know what Rumble is? Really? You're so wholesome. Yeah. No. No, it's, she's, uh, she's like, I'm a mom. I spent a lot of time with a five and eight year old. So I know I get can tell you. Get them on Rumble. I can tell you about Pickle and Peanut. Oh, okay. I can talk about fucking cartoons wait so wait it's, what's rumble i don't know it's it, like the answer to youtube so like zero censorship oh shit but it's just yeah. become like a voice Super for the right wing, right -wing. Oh. <laughs> if no it's actually funny if you go on there there's like it's like 12 hours of andrew tate motivational music oh, and like people like there. study to it so it's exactly like youtube but just parallel because people listen to like lo-fi music when they're studying on youtube but yeah. there's like andrew tate motivational music for 12 wow. hours it's, it's motivational like, music yeah it's just like 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 um i don't even know what it is i forget his background but it's like that type of music okay and just play it yeah like kind of intense yeah 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 like a like a grand theft auto like loading screen hilarious yeah and so it just plays for 12 hours it's it's <laughs> youtube so but just funny. super like fucking well youtube I, is like so inconsistent that's yeah. one thing they're, it's they're, very bizarre it's what they'll very pull, bizarre what they'll pull and what they won't um know, all right well we got a wrap but trevor wallace's special pterodactyl is out now on mm -hmm. amazon prime before you can listen to his podcast stiff socks as well and follow him uh, on all the platforms you're on all of them. instagram tiktok twitter the whole thing all that shit homie. it's all trevor wallace yeah all trevor wallace trevor wallace thank you guys um, for having thank me. you for coming thank man you for coming of course. thank you thank fun. you thank you we'll see you guys next week bye Hot, 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 hot.
You just watched your mom's house. Did you like it? Then watch another one. Watch our clips. I don't know. Check it out. Try it out. If you didn't like it, look for other stuff. Maybe in the next video there's people getting hurt the way you like. Or maybe gay dudes talking about dick stuff. I don't know. Try it out. Maybe there's always something for everybody. Just look in these cubes. Squares. Whatever.